Um, and let's get started with some housekeeping. So last session, uh, we did not burn down an orphanage. And I'm so <laughs> proud of everyone for not burning down the orphanage. Yay, no kid side. <laughs> Wait, was that a concern? <laughs> well, hold on. <laughs> <laughs> so that uh, hey, let him ha let him have that low bar, dude. Let him have it. Hey, that works. That works. Yeah. yeah little little uh, little internet D and D meme history there. There was uh, an old web comic called Looking for Group, and there was uh, a necromancer, and it was based off of somebody's D and D campaign where the necromancer accidentally burned down an orphanage. Um, which it, it became a constant ongoing meme, right? Like if you were just to Google burn down the orphanage or we burn down an orphanage, you'll find all kinds of things about it. So we did not burn down an orphanage. We also did not burn down, or we also did not uh, create an orphanage out of meat. And that's, uh, that's something different. We'll talk about that later. So uh, Shmi, Shmi and Callus went to the orphanage and started... Uh, Teaching the the youngling some self defense, uh, Maritim went and started his own little sub business, uh, his own little lemonade stand, selling some uh, potions and getting that up and running. And Maritim, there were some things that you had told me off stream that you had wanted to look into, and yes, you were absolutely able to uh, to get those going. Okay, great. Uh, so yes. I also would have done most of that like disguised I wouldn't have done it as me okay that's fair do you do you care if I tell everybody what you were doing or is that a, a private thing or were you just trying to get that in before before you forgot about well it? I, I figure seeing as we're all going to be in this town for three weeks because of me, sorry guys. My 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 need for a sneak attack mall is is all consuming apparently. Um, <clears throat> um, only if it's relevant or if they hear rumors or whispers about things that have gone on. That would probably be what I'd want to happen. Because I'm not necessarily keeping anything from them. But I'm also not like openly like, hey, you know, but I would say that like I've been asking questions about our bounty. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And trying to get more information about it over the course of three weeks. So, so however you want to stretch that out or however you want to present that. Yeah, so that that I mean that I'm fine sharing. It was the other stuff that you had in there. Um, specifically option number three or, or point number three that I was wondering if you wanted to keep secret and keep that uh, off me. Let me get my notes real quick so I can see what it was. Sure, sure, sure. <laughs> it's the only way I can function anymore. Yeah, so so effectively you are able to do all of those. I just didn't have an opportunity today to, to type out everything. No, Pretty that's evil. fair. I kind of I kind of slapped it on you fairly quick. You did. You did. Slapped it on me like a like a Trojan helmet. Uh, uh, is this a condom right there? No, it no it's where you drape a penis uh, yeah. on like the somebody's uh. forehead, <laughs> so that the nose, so that the nose comes down and becomes the nasal guard of the Trojan helmet. That's right. And thank you for that total pig, which reminds me, we are an eighteen and up stream. <laughs> <laughs> eighteen years of age. Please, kindly get the fuck out. Um. Point three, I probably would have discussed with Shmi okay. in, in reserved conversation. Okay. Okay. Um, point four, I you know what that word means, the one that's in quote. You know yeah, 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 yeah. I know what that means. Um, point five, as far as the bag of holding or pouch of holding, that would have been just like if I came across it in that three weeks in any form whether I liberate it from someone or purchase it <coughs> or win it in a game because I'll also be playing dice games you know anything to make extra 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 shiny stuff okay so so I'm gonna fast forward um, 
4 and 5 here, you're able to acquire through various means. Um, you are able to obtain a small pouch of holding. Uh, so it, it looks like uh, whatever the small bag is, what, what are they... Do they even still do that? Uh, the bag of holding has like a face on it and, you know, like just some decoration. Yeah, um, so they no longer have like small, medium, large bag of holding? Nah, it's one size. Okay, well, what is the handy haversack? Ah, uh, that is mm, a backpack. So, yeah, so oh, technically God. there's the bag of holding, the handy haversack, and the portable hold. Yeah. And then there's a spell um, that I don't know and would not have access to. Uh, uh, I can't remember the name of the spell. Anyways, that's the top end. Yeah, so that, you're, had yeah. Small so you're able to find a bag of holding. It's no big deal. You, you, They used to have small, medium, and large bags of holding. Mm -hmm. and they don't need more, you're able to find a bag of holding. Um, at some point, though, as you're walking around this town, you do notice, occasionally, you see a goat that just looks out of place. It's a solid white goat with long, like, curling horns. They would effectively be ram's horns on a goat. And you notice that there is some gold like, like something shiny on each one of the horns. However, every time you try to get close to it, the, the goat runs away. Hmm. It has rings, basically. It has rings on its horns. It runs away? Yep, it runs away. It bleats and runs away. Okay, so it's able to evade me over this course of three weeks? Yes. Shmi and Callus, you also see this weird, solid white goat with rings on its horns. And every time okay. every time you get within about 15 feet of it, it starts to run away and it evades you. Does it have a collar or any other... It has a cowbell. <clears throat> oh. Cowbell. Okay. So it's owned, obviously. Yeah. Or it could just be into some paint. You never know. You never know. Or it's, <laughs> it's owned by Christopher Walken. Good. Also good. Yeah, I guess at this You're point just... it would be a goat bell, but whatever. <laughs> whatever. <laughs> <laughs> Not if it's the size of a goat bell. Or a cow bell. Yeah, I... yeah, no, that's fair. Yeah, I killed my own joke there. Yeah. Um. So, number six, I don't remember everything that that does, but you're, I mean, you're able to spend some time doing it. Um. For okay, one... you can get back to me on that one. Yeah. That, that's not horribly critical. None or... of that is horribly critical. It's just what I would have done in that, that span. So number one is critical. Number one, you are... Yeah, well, yeah. So would you relay that to the party? Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah, so... Yeah, anything that I found out, I would relay to them. So everyone that you've talked to, um, and you guys, again, y'all are spending three weeks in this town, you're spending three weeks going to this orphanage, um... Specifically, uh, Callus and Maritim, over the three weeks, you're going to see someone who looks really familiar. Like, like you can't quite place this guy. He's, he's clean-shaven, his voice sounds really familiar. Shmi, you have no idea who this is. There's just something okay. about the way that he limps, and the way that he, the way that he talks... And, and one of the scars that he has on his face just seems so familiar, but yeah, like maybe, maybe you knew him 15 years from now. <coughs> um, and he, he occasionally visits the orphanage, uh, but everyone that you talk to that's willing to talk about the general talks about him like he is this amazing man he is this amazing war hero who saved thousands of lives and no one will give him up um over the course of the three weeks the uh the uh orphanage has been attacked two other times 
And Meridim, what little bit you've been able to find about number three has no association with any of these attacks. Um, right. So, yeah. Um, are you, Meridim, are you going with Shmi and Callus to the to the uh, orphanage at all? When they go to teach uh, the younglings? Very sparsely, because I'm spending, I would say, if I'm not, when I'm not sleeping, I'm spending like a good like 70, 80, 90 percent, probably a good 90 percent of my time crafting potions so I can right. generate this current, so I can generate gold to pay for my hammer and anything else and help boost up our gold reserves. Okay. So I will, I will say that we're getting close to the end of the third week and y'all are hanging out at the tavern that y'all have been hanging out in. Which and, one is it? Uh, it's the spotted spotless meat. The spotless meat. Okay. Yeah. 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 So y'all are hanging out at the spotless meat and I'm not even going to make you roll for it um, but y'all see uh, a group of shifty people on the street headed in the direction of the orphanage. Um, real quick question. Sure. Where has Toodles been this entire time? Uh, Toodles has been holed up in the room reading his naughty book. Hmm. Naughty? Like N-A-U-G-H-T-Y or K-N-O-T-T-Y? No, I, yeah, it, it's hard to tell with him. It's N-A-U-G-H-T-Y. Okay, gotcha. Just checking. You never yeah, know. Not, so. a, not a book about wood then. Got it. No. No, it's, oh, not where I was going, but yeah, sure. Yeah, it's his, <laughs> it's his, his warlock book. His, his gotcha. Okay. Big black evil book. Warlock book. <laughs> hey, dude, hentai's uh, anime. Okay. Hentai's manga. Okay. I ain't gonna. It's called it. hentai, and it's art. Okay. Look. Uh -huh. Look. Yaoi is technically manga. Okay. I mean, correct. Yeah. But... <laughs> Just you know. I got, the, I got the house to myself. I should watch hentai on the big screen. Shit. Ab you <laughs> absolutely should. Why aren't you? You should totally do that. <laughs> All right, guys. Back, guys. <laughs> End of game. <laughs> we'll catch y'all in two weeks. Uh, Callus is going to go watch hentai. He's going to go watch uh, Sailor and the Seven Ballsy. Perfect. Perfect. There you yeah. go. Yeah, Great. Part two. Excellent. Because they didn't make a part one. They, they made both one and two. Good. We can talk about how I know that later. What do you mean how? You, you saw them. What do you, what do you... <laughs> Hey, there was a lot of stuff when I worked at Suncoast that I sold that I didn't watch. Yeah, okay. Not that one, <laughs> no, but, not but that there one. were others. <laughs> uh, yeah, so anyway, so you see, you see uh, six... Six uh, people walking in the street, very purposely headed towards the uh, the orphanage. Six, six, and there's three of you. And we don't recognize them at all. You don't recognize them at all, but you know that the the orphanage has been coming under attack at least once a week. Okay. And uh, I mean, each okay. time, each time, the the guy who's primarily at the orphanage has been able to to just decimate them handle it sure uh cast boar nova right yeah okay um can i stealthily follow them to see what they're up to sure yeah roll yeah it. yeah i'd go with him as well same all right yeah um, um so we're gonna do this I'll... we're gonna try a new rule we're gonna we're gonna do this as a group Right, so, uh... Okay, I have advantage on stealth, so I rolled the 17. No, oh, okay, well, that's fine. Um, uh, I'm gonna touch, um, Callus and give him Blessing of the Trickster. Okay. Which will give him advantage on any death rolls for the next hour. Oh, shit. Nice! nice. Hell yeah, thank you. All right, well, we're not gonna try a new roll. Everybody just roll stealth. Fuck it. No, you're good. You can still do it. Well, I was gonna try a group roll. Uh, yeah, you can still do the group roll. It just gives him advantage on his roll 
to aid with the group roll. Yeah, so I mean, since all of you are aiding, um, effectively Shmi would get plus two, I think, for each person. So it's 17, 18, 19, 20. So it's 21 stealth. You're, you're, you guys are, like, moving very stealthily. Are you sure about that? Yeah, because it's a group. Because I got an 11. Yep, <laughs> moving stealth is a group. Oh, okay. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Ah. The group is moving stealthily. <laughs> stealthily moving. Yep. All right. So, like, so like, as as Meridum is starting to to almost fuck up his dexterity, Shmi's like, ah, and, and <laughs> helps you correct yourself. Perfect. Right. So yeah, they Sorry. are. Um, you're able to to hide in and out of shadows, and you're able to follow them. I mean, they're they're relatively loud, and you're able to overhear one of them say, "Man, this really isn't worth it." We, we, we've been doing this we keep getting our ass kicked and another guy says shut up it's absolutely worth it we'll get it taken care of one way or another so there, there's some grumbling and uh, you know some people aren't happy about it one guy clearly seems to be the leader of the group and they walk up to the orphanage and one of them pulls a Maltov out of a backpack, and he starts to light it. Attack. Uh, yeah, crossbow. Oh, shit, alright, yeah, roll the hit. These guys aren't heavily armored. Is there anyone else on the street that would be able to see what's happening right now or no? No. No, it's, uh... At this point, it's like a residential kind of street over by where the orphanage is. Okay. So again, you're like... Oh, I can't zoom in on this. You're like... Over here. And I haven't received my mall yet, right? Not yet. You got about another day. Oh, I'm sorry. I, I thought it was just a shot. Uh, yes, I will do so right now. Uh, 20 faults. Yeah, that's 24. Uh, 10. So, no. Probably. No, you hit. That's fine. Oh. Yeah, yeah, they're not heavily armored. Okay, gotcha. For a whopping three points of damage. Right. Uh... Seven for me. Meredith, roll an extra d6. And Shmi, roll an extra d6. Callus, are you attacking as well? Oh, wait, does this count as a sneak attack since we were in stealth? Uh-huh. Oh, Ooh. shit. Yeah. I'm sorry. Cool, at 11. So 18 damage for me instead. Yeah, no, so, he's dead. 8 for me. <laughs> oh, Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> so Shmi, just, Shmi straight up kills the guy with the malt. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> just straight up. Did he get a chance to... <laughs> tell, tell me he got a chance to light it. It hits the ground, breaks open, and now the other two are both in the way. No. No. <laughs> he, it does... Not quite that lucky. <laughs> no, it, it does drop. Um, but it does not... Uh, we'll, we'll see here. High, low, yes or no, callus. High, yes. Yeah, so it, it falls to the ground and it breaks open. And then uh, his torch drops, and you have about half a turn before it starts to catch. But the uh, Meridum, were you were you attacking the same target that Shmi was? Uh, yeah, whoever was the guy who had the Molotov and was like trying to strike it off. I was like, oh, <clears throat> fuck you are. Okay, so so as you like as you're getting ready to shoot, Shmi just like stealths up and stabs him right in the grundle and uh just <laughs> straight up from the grundle up through his lungs oh add insult go. to injury and and put a crossbow bolt through the back of his head 
Oh, Jesus. <laughs> the, the Molotov drops. The torch that he has drops. It's about to catch fire, and the other six turn and don't see Shmi, because this is a human who is significantly taller. Uh, <laughs> they turn and they try to see Callus and Meritim. Um, they're wearing, like, like uh, balaclavas on their face. Or something equivalent. Like and, a face wrap kind of yeah, thing. Yeah, like a yeah, face yeah. wrap kind of thing. Okay. Uh, like a ski mask. Uh, and But, I mean, you can tell that their expressions are like, Oh, shit! Uh, um, if I get a chance, I want to cast Thaumaturgy on myself. Okay. And, like, make my eyes, like, this sickly green glow, like, out of the darkness. And be like, you, leave! Or die like your friend. Oh, your leader, who's dead. <laughs> All right, you'll the get best that. of you done. You'll get that next turn. Callus, is there anything that you want to do before these these thugs get their their opportunity? Is the le- is the did the leader get killed? Uh, yeah, you could assume that he's the leader. Absolutely. Okay. So okay. I was just gonna. I was gonna say out loud to the group. It's like let's make sure to leave at least one of them alive. It's not a bad idea. Sure, yeah, I'm fine and with then, that. Uh, uh, firebolt to one of them. I don't give a shit. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Go for it. Oh. Uh, can I combat roll a little bit away? Because that's one of my 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 free actions as well. Yeah. So I don't get caught in the. Okay. Cool. Yeah, you can do thirteen that. to hit. Yeah, that'll hit. Sweet. So whoever it hits gets uh, eight damage. Okay. Uh, he is up, but barely. Huh, interesting. Okay. Uh, let's do this. I should have asked, but how far away are they from me? They're not very. Okay. Um, I mean, they're they're within thirty feet. They even, okay. Yeah, they're within thirty. Well, feet. within one hundred and twenty feet, then. Okay, no problem. Yeah, 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 yeah. Absolutely. Oh, I should have planned this a little bit better. Oh well. All right. This encounter. Um, no, no, no. There we go. Everybody, roll initiative. Ah, uh, twenty. Clear. Nice. Nice. Two. Weird time oh. for a nat twenty, but you know. <laughs> that is a weird. Time. No, it's kind of perfect because the cleric got a four. The other people got a. All right, so we're gonna start. Shmi, you're up first. What what are you gonna do? Okay, cool deal. So one person died. Did one of them get hit by that fireball? Yeah, one of them did. And you know what? He died. He's almost dead. Okay. Um, let's see here. <clears throat> and I'm am I within melee range of most of them at this point? Oh yeah. All right, perfect. Well, then I'm just gonna pick one that I'm in within melee range and slash at him. Okay. Because we only need one alive, so... Yeah, roll to hit. All right, 18. That hits. Ouch. Are any of my homies in melee range, or do I not have um, sneak anymore? No, none of your homies are within melee range. You don't have sneak at this point. You're almost effectively surrounded. Gotcha. Okay, six damage. All right, he's hurt. And then I'm going to use my free uh, action to scoot away as far away from the crowd as I can. Okay. Uh, him. He's gonna be like, oh shit, run away! And, uh, yeah, he's gonna try to run away. And... Yeah. No, 
okay, so he runs further down the street. He doesn't cross through anybody's path. So nobody gets an attack pop on him. Uh, the next guy, he is like, fuck this, I could take this little kid midget thing. I'm talking about Shmi. And he's going to roll a hit. And, uh, yeah. Does a 21 hit you? Shmi? Sorry, I was muted. Yes, yeah, 21 does okay. it. Uh, take two damage. All right, damn, you really Savage. got me. Yeah, yeah that's rough. Yeah, and, oh, it's a scimitar, too. As his scimitar slices into you. Nice. Uh, bandit, the next guy is, is going to hold his action and kind of assess. And Meredith, it's your turn. Okay, so... I'm going to uh, invoke duplicity right next to the guy that, like, uh, uh, attached me. Like, actually, I, I want to interpose him, my, my duplicate right between the two. It doesn't give any advantage or disadvantage to him. It's just kind of a flavor thing. Okay. And, like, as my duplicate apparates, me from, like, 30 feet away, it's going to be like, the lucky one. <laughs> just got away. You might want to listen to him. And it's just, as a duplicate, it's the same thing. So it's, it's me with like these like sickly green, like fiery eyes. Yeah. And yeah. But I don't have a touch spell for a bonus action. I do. How can I? Now. So as yours apparates or, or comes into into being, uh, one of them faints. <laughs> what faints? Yep. Falls to the ground and faints. All right, is that is that your turn, Meredith? Yeah, that's it. That's it for my action. All right, this one. Who is who got hit with the firebolt is also going to try to run away. However, yeah, in doing so, Shmi, you get uh, an attack of opportunity. Don't mind if I do. <coughs> Stab his I was miss. fucking two. Oh, you missed. Five. Yeah. Yeah. No. Callus, you're up next. So, like, how many are left? What's going on? Like, one dude fainted. Yep, one dude one fainted. Dude's dead. One is in the process of running away. Two have two have run away. Yeah, so they're they're in the process of running away. They are thirty feet away from where the combat started at this point. And two of them. And they're heading in. They're going in opposite directions. Right. They're not going in the same direction. Hmm. And who's standing in front? Who's who's left in the in the original kind of pile there? So there there's one standing in front of uh, in front of Shmi, and then there's one who has a crossbow who's kind of like trying to assess the situation. Okay. can't decide if I want to try and 
I got a feeling one of these guys, if I, I can't go for both of the guys running away, but if you let one go, you might as well let them both go. Uh, who cares, whatever, okay. Um, I want to walk up to the dude with the crossbow and like, hey, just like, do you want to start explaining yourself yet? Or do you want to continue this? Okay. So you, you walk up to talk to him. Then on his turn, so since he held his action, he's like, hey man, no one was supposed to die. <laughs> <laughs> what the shit? All right, and then we start back. Hey, Shmi, what are you doing? Um, I'm gonna use the blunt side of my blade and attack the guy in front of me. Okay. So you're doing uh, a non-lethal. Uh, yeah, non-lethal attack. Yeah, 19. that hits. That absolutely hits. Oh, only five damage. All right. Five non-lethal. I mean, that that's still almost half his hit point. Yeah. Yeah. Um, How do you do non-lethal? You just call. You just it say it. Yeah. Oh, okay. You just call yeah. it non-lethal damage. Some things yeah. cannot be non-lethal, like a fireball. Like fireball is always lethal. Okay. All right. Understood. <laughs> yeah. Fair enough. All right. Gotcha. Yeah. With like with like melee weapon, like I don't I don't even know that you could really do ranged weapons is non-lethal. Like that that takes some serious finesse to shoot a crossbow bolt. But like and, but it's like if you have a rock in your hand Yeah and you hit somebody with it, then you can claim non lethal God. Yeah. Okay. Claim, yeah. 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 Uh, yeah, so so with as hard as you just hit him with your scimitar, he's he's like he drops his and he's getting ready to run. So that's going to give you an attack of opportunity. Which me. Oh, that was his, oh, his turn is next. I thought yeah. that was in response to me attacking him. Okay, yeah, yeah sure. I'm going to I'm a fucking smack him with a blunt on my blade again, so. Okay. Yeah, roll it. Tad. Yeah, that that hits. <laughs> fucking 9. Yeah. So. so as he's running, he just you you smack him. You're like, "Stop it." <laughs> And he just he, he falls. Fucking drops like a sack of rocks. Yeah, so crumbles. <laughs> yeah, the the guy that the guy that Callus was talking to drops his crossbow and puts his hands up. He's like, guys, seriously, no one, no one was supposed to die. What the? Like, look, that that bastard that runs it was enough. Jesus Christ, now there's three of you little bastards. Are you kids? Did, did they been training you? Shit. One yes, we have. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, shit. What? Sir, can, uh, how do I get out of here alive? Uh, Start I'm a, I'm a mark in thieves camp. But I say, do you know what I'm saying right now? I don't, I don't speak sign language. Oh fuck, these guys are amateurs. Okay, um, what the fuck are you doing? Why, why did you try and set an orphanage on fire? We we're gonna set the orphanage on fire. You, he had a fucking Molotov! What are you talking about? We were gonna you throw were gonna a firebomb an orphanage. We were gonna throw it. How did you think this was going to go? We were gonna hit the orphanage with it. We were gonna throw it near the orphanage. To that get... is still. <laughs> Fine, to, go on. Speak. To get the guy's attention. That's one way you know you can knock. That's another way to get somebody's attention. Or call well, them God. out. Yeah, but if you knock this late at night. He's not going to come out. Who? Who's not going to come out? The, the guy who runs Who's this thing. Who's the guy? The guy oh, that damn it. it. <clears throat> okay, you guys stay with him. I'm going to go get Nova <laughs> so he can talk to this guy, this asshole too. Because uh, I'm, I'm sure Nova's just been killing them, so maybe you'd like to know what's happening. No, no, no. He actually hasn't been killing any of them. He's just been oh, perfect. fucking them up. Well, I'm going to tell them that I stabbed one of them So in the taint. So, um... I'm gonna go. I, I assume Nova's chill with me at this point. We've been yeah. working for him for yeah, a couple yeah. of days. So. All right, I'm gonna go and hit up Nova and try and bring him down over here. Yeah. So you you walk in. You notice. So as you go up, the front door is completely unlocked. And as you open it, make a uh, make a perception check. 
I, I, I want to shoot at the uh, second guy that decided to run. Oh. 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 Okay. I mean, we're still in combat, right? I mean, if you want to be. <laughs> oh, yeah. We said, we said, we agreed on letting one go. One <laughs> no, 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 no. Now wait. Now wait just a damn minute. Because if we're still in combat, and it, I, if you're going to go for one, I'm going to go for the other one. Oh, uh, yeah. You <laughs> both have ranged attacks. Go, yeah, by all means. One could go. All right. If you want to hit, let, we can get both of them. I got. Let's do yeah. this. Well, let's both go after the second guy. Why? He's no. Bre he's breaking the rules. No, 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 dude. Like, if two are running away in separate directions, you get one, I get the other. That way, none of them can get let go, and none of them can report back what they saw to okay. anybody okay. else. Hang on. Hang that's, on. That, that's fair, because the the one guy that Shmi was just talking to, well, he's still alive, and so are two others. So. Yeah. Right. We got alive people. We can off these two running bastards. All right. <laughs> go, go ahead, Matt. I was going to say, there, there's two passed out on the ground. One okay. fainted. One was subdued. There's the one that's still up that was talking to y'all, and there's the two running away. Ah, and the dead leader? Or is and, the one... and the dead leader. His body is still there. <coughs> With a bolt in his head and a hole in his taint. Yep. That sounds like a, uh, a, a country song. Sounds like a Nick Cave, <laughs> sounds like a Nick Cave song. <laughs> Okay, so yeah, uh, I will fire at the second one running. Sure. Go for it. What My perception the... check is in there for whenever that's going to happen to. Yeah, me. I see that. Thank you, sir. Okay, what is, what is the minimum amount of damage your crossbow can do? The absolute minimum? Yes. Uh, let's see. Eight, nine, ten. Yeah, he's dead. <laughs> <laughs> the absolute minimum ten. Yeah. He's it, dead. It, 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 if I can, if I can, like off this guy in one hit, what I would love to do is for that crossbow bolt to hit him in the Achilles tendon, and him just to go face first into a stone wall and break his neck. Okay. So, okay. So you If you can make that happen for me, I will love you. Okay. So what what happens? What happens? He's running. And I mean, he's running out towards towards a more main street. And you fire it in such a way that you absolutely hit that tendon. And you hit that tendon right as his foot was landing. And so his foot lands and it slips out from under him and he ends up doing not just face planting, but he does a full 360 degree, right? So he does like a full somersault, just elongated. And yeah. he ends by bouncing his head off of a tree into a stone fence. Yes. Like, like four-legged pasta. Yes. <laughs> Beautiful. All right, Callus. Turn the motherfucker into a noodle and watch him. What are you doing, Callus? I'm going to crossbow the other one going the other direction. Roll the hit. <laughs> and what is the minimum damage that your crossbow can do? Uh, <laughs> 13 to hit. Or, I'm sorry, 17. You hit. Uh, minimal damage. Let's, I got the damn die in the way. Uh, it's a 1d8 plus 1, so... Uh, so two, two, I guess. Two. Yeah, so roll roll your damage. Do you get a proficiency uh, bonus with it? Oh. No, my minimum. Oh, I'm sorry. My minimum would have been three. Uh, it's uh, three damage. damage. Three damage. Okay. So I did 24 damage, you, so. you hit him, and he's hurt, and he's still running. You going to fire again? I would love to. All right. Roll the hit. He's almost out of range. Uh, 22 to hit? Yeah, that hits. All right. No, I how do you imagine how do you that? Kill him? <laughs> oh, I went ahead and rolled uh, damage. Sorry. Yeah, uh, no, you're good. Uh, like I want to shoot once and like have him like have the thing like stick in his like stick in his ass like a first shot. Where it's like as you're still running, you reach back and it's like, oh shit, there's something there. And as he turns to look, that's when the other uh, when I fire one handed. 
uh, the other bolt just goes right into his fucking eye. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> like, as soon as his head turns, like, bam, catches the fucking All right. bolt. So your first bolt does it, it catches him right in the left butt cheek, and as he's running, he like, turns and grabs at it, and he looks back at what shot him, and as he's looking up, your second bolt catches him in the right eye, and it just goes in and it sticks, it's like something out of a Tarantino movie, and then to continue on with our anime theme, he, it hits him with such force that he's lifted off of his feet. He <laughs> flies in the air for about two feet, lands face first, and skids for another three feet. <laughs> pushing the bolt deeper into his head. Oh, Beautiful. <laughs> Good job. Well done. Get that gray matter. <laughs> <laughs> As you walk in the front door, while these two are dispatching the leftovers, and the other guy has now very clearly shit himself. Um, <laughs> you... I'm gonna, like, bind the other ones up so they can't run. Okay. You... You see Cass standing near the door, watching almost with a smile on his face. Like, as you walk in, you see him very clearly. Like, he was standing near the door, very much ready to... He had a bow staff, and he's very uh. much ready to, to take care of business. He's like, you little fucks. <laughs> Y'all are twisted. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you know, you, you, you've been so kind to employ us. We wanted to, uh, you know, make sure we protect the place. I assume you knew that they were coming, Ben? I, you know, I... It's been happening almost like clockwork so i've been i've been prepared almost every night you know. uh well we uh we just happened to be up for a drink and we saw these people uh heading over so we have a few of them alive if you want to question that i don't know if you know what they're up to or not but no, I, I know exactly what they want oh what do you want us to do with these leftovers then i well i haven't been killing them well <laughs> we killed half of them do, do I hear do I hear him say that we haven't been killing them? Yeah, he'll say it loud enough, yeah. Okay, then whoever's dead, I'm going to touch them and cast Spare the Dying. Oh my god. <laughs> Wait, one of them has a hole in his taint and a bolt in his head. <laughs> he doesn't have to roll death saving throws now. Oh god. Yeah, no, they're they're beyond they're beyond saving with Spare the Dying. You, you can okay. tell that they're beyond saving. Uh, then... Uh, is it? Uh, healing word. That you... They're nothing short of a resurrection is going to bring them back. Oh. Would I realize that before I yes. burn a spell slot? Okay. Yes. Nothing short of a resurrection is going to bring them back to life. This is not Oop. an Evanescence song. <laughs> so, so realizing that, I do spare the dying on the leader and go. Well, oops. <laughs> well, <laughs> he says. Well, uh, they tried. <laughs> yeah, he says. Uh, no, I know exactly what they want. And uh, and he's like, you're not gonna fucking get it. I feel like there's a there's a story to be told here. Should I uh, think we can sit down for a drink? I think this guy owes us a drink. <sighs> huh? Because he can cut into our drinking time. Can I by cast saving his spell? What do you want to cast? Charm person. Sure. Onto the guy that we. Onto the guy that like supplicated himself. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, you can cast on that. It's super easy. Barely an inconvenience. Uh, go away. Okay. Uh, that is a wisdom saving throw. For yeah, okay. Uh, oh, shit. He actually passed. <laughs> I'll hit him again with it. Okay. Oh. Oh. Passed oh. again. Oh. <laughs> Violence can solve this too, if need be. 
You doing alright, Meridim? You want me to hit him with my sword? No, 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 no! I'll what do you want? Cast one want? more time. What? If he doesn't get charmed this time, I'm gonna fuck him. <laughs> it works. <laughs> <laughs> so, so as I'm casting charm version for the last time, I start balling up my fist <laughs> and start, start, start to pull back. <laughs> Will I'm gonna charm you. Me. <laughs> no, no, no. Like, as I'm, like, pulling my hand back, the words that come out of my mouth are, you will like me. <laughs> <laughs> and then, whenever those words slip out, I'm going to look over at Shmi and just kind of, whoa. <laughs> <laughs> like, silently. <laughs> and the thaumaturgy is still up, so that, that sickly green, like, flaming yep. eyeballs is still going. Yep. You look like Spawn over there. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Yeah. And then my duplicate just start, and all for flavor effect, my duplicate just starts walking over, just like flexing and just like pissed. He's like, <laughs> he's like, yeah, yeah, we're friends, dude. It's cool. We're friends. Whatever. Yeah. Best friends. Yeah. I'll buy you a beer. Yeah. Let's, yeah. All right. Let's, uh, let's go fishing. What do you say? Come on. We'll, we'll get some salmon and, and feed bears or something. I don't Why know. were you here? Uh, to, to collect a bounty. And I'm going to get what information I can out of him, but I'm going to let Shmi finish up with what he's doing. So as he says that, Shmi, as this guy starts talking, Cass pulls out a crossbow. Mm. And he aims it at the guy. I'll step in front of it. I want answers. General? Yeah. Gotcha. I mean, do what you gotta do. If you gotta kill that guy, then kill that guy. But I feel like we need to have a talk. We do. <clears throat> Alright. He's like, well, since you already know, or you already figured it out, he puts the crossbow away. He's like, there's no point in silencing him. The whole point of killing him at this point would have been to keep you from finding out. Since you are clearly clever, more clever than these dipshits. Yeah. He, uh, he grabs a rucksack next to him and he pulls out uh, two 50 foot strands of rope. He's like, he tosses them out into the road. He's like, you guys tie them up. Meet me in the back. Already done. <clears throat> okay. I already found them up. Uh, I'll, uh, I'll help the gang drag them over to the back. Yep. So yeah, he wants you to grab the people and put them in the back. Or take them yeah. to the back. Yeah. <clears throat> no problem. So about that drink, let's go <clears throat> have one. So, so once y'all make it into the back, into that back area of the orphanage, it's it's got, you know, like paper lanterns and shit lit up, and he's got kind of a round, like a bar table, a circular bar table, and he's got <clears throat> a bottle of whiskey and a bottle of clear alcohol and he's got some shot glasses and he's got a <clears throat> he's got a keg of meat not far like the time that it took y'all to do that he set it up um, so it's a small a small tanker to meat he's like have a seat gentlemen I said sure sit down what do you want to know uh -oh. So, General Kassoum. Yes. Why, does, why an orphanage? Why does it, yeah, that's a good question. That's a good start. Have you not been paying attention the past three weeks that you've been coming here? I suppose it just seems like a really risky venture to do. Uh, especially uh, in... in in deep in the territory where you're wanted. Uh, and putting children's lives in it. Wanted? I mean, that, that's more of a formality. Right. I mean, I'm, I'm a citizen. And I had thought that there were enough people here that appreciated what I did to keep quiet about. Every child here is the child 
of someone who either... I mean, really, every child here is the child of a family that died because of me. Well, that's fair. So... Commendable. I... I owe it for the things that I did and the things that I had to do. But might I ask you this? Do you think it was a good idea to put these younglings' lives at risk because you felt obligated? Well, I mean, I'm not the only one that runs the orphanage. And up until tonight, no one had died. Fair. Though, when we see somebody with a Molotov in front of an orphanage, you know, I feel like uh, the good Samaritan thing to do would be to stop the person with a Molotov. I appreciate that. (laughs) I would just like to be clear that until tonight, no one had died. Yeah, no, I mean, I, I understand what you're saying. Uh, we have a, you know, we have a tendency to be uh, Look, zealous. I I don't fault you. You, as someone who has made many a call based on the information that they had at hand, I understand why you took the actions that you took, and they are commendable actions. You were protecting the children. That is completely commendable. You didn't know who I was. You also didn't know that I was the one who had been beating all of their asses every time that they come here. You could assume, but you didn't know. Right. And I'm going to take a shot of whiskey and say that it's also just fun to kill people sometimes. (laughs) (laughs) You're young, aren't you? (laughs) (laughs) I'm just going to look at Callus and I'll be like, not wrong. <laughs> maybe humans are different. And maybe as humans get old, we see things differently. Because so, our lives are so short. I want to be clear about what's happening right now. Is this out of game or in game? Out of game. Okay. Is we've the, the, the person that was running the orphanage we've recently now discovered is the general that we're after with the bounty. Yes. Correct. Absolutely. Okay. That's I just want I, I, I thought that was going on, but I just want to be crystal clear. Yep. Okay. That is absolutely what's happening. Okay. Fair enough. Continue. Yeah. Um, <laughs> also, out of game, has he been going by this nickname Cass this whole time? Absolutely. Yes, Caspor Nova. Yeah. Ah. At that point, once that epiphany hits me and I I make that connection, I'm just going to look at him and go, maybe choose a different alias. You don't like my anagram? Yeah, it was cute. Uh... Barov, Barov. (laughs) Yeah, I see it. I mean. Yeah, I I wasn't going by that. I was just going by cast to assume it's not far off. Yeah, he he laughs. He's like, I I thought it was clever. Yeah. And Clever you, can get you killed. You didn't pick up on it the first time, or the oh, fifth sure time, did. or the twenty-second yep. time. I, I no, was kind of busy it, making money, so <clears throat> it certainly did its job for sure. We it, understand that much. There's something to be said about hiding in plain sight. No one yeah. expects it. I won't disagree with that. I'd still recommend using a better. Aid. So, gentlemen. We find ourselves at an impasse. We do. What do we do? How do we resolve this amicably? What's it like being a scapegoat? It's hard. When you... He takes a shot. He says, when you realize that you made calls to protect lives, to do things. And they were unpopular calls, and I'm not saying they were right. Again, I was in situations where I had to choose to minimize our lives lost and to end that war as quickly as possible. What they don't tell you 
is that in a lot of those situations, the longer they go on, the more people die. And when I started seeing my friend's children in the ranks, is when I said it's time to end this. So I made decisions. Like the burning of, of farms? Yes. Salting Earth? So I was thinking they, the same they, thing, salting the Earth. To not be able to feed themselves? Yep. When your quarry goes to ground, leave no ground to go to. Appreciate it. I didn't say it was right. I said that it accomplished the goal of ending the war. Something you said about decisive action. I came home a hero. At first. I was commended. And then reparations were demanded. And so now, our ruler has a bounty on my head of 7,000 gold because he seems to think and he's been told that if I'm not delivered <clears throat> alive, mind you they'll start attacking again now I well, I might not know this but were there ever any repercussions when he wasn't turned in? So what you remember is that he had been caught multiple times. And right. every time he's been caught, he somehow escaped. Has anyone caught you thus far? Or have you successfully stayed in hiding up until now? I've successfully stayed in hiding. Cool, so he hasn't been caught yet. Okay. Um... It's, it's like wanting to talk with the the crew out of earshot of the general. Uh, I it's like guys, it's like I'm piecing together that we should tie him up and take him in, collect this bounty, and then let him go. You know, and I don't know anything about all this magic time shit. But, uh, that would align us with the pa the future, the past, with time. <laughs> that would align us with time, because we would be fulfilling things as they were meant to happen. That's the way yeah. I'm seeing it, too, because I have no problem taking these people gold and letting this guy go. So... Well, you couldn't let him go. It... You, well, not let him go, but we would have to I, break him out. Is what? A, yeah, exactly. We'd have to we, we'd have to bring him in and then break him out. Now, the thing about that is that one, why would he want to stop what he's doing currently? I guess unless he already realizes that his cover has been blown because of the the combat that happened outside of the of the orphanage, and then two. I don't know if he still I it, I'm not sure his ideals could have changed right but if if he's still for like wanting to prevent like a larger amount of bloodshed turning himself in would stop the other country from invading and so that could be argued as to why he should want to go in so what you remember is that over the past 15 years they have never invaded they've postured they've talked a lot of shit he has never been turned over to them, and they have never invaded. Because they're terrified of him. Um... Because they're talking a bunch of shit. Yeah. I, d I don't want to mess with... And, and I, I guess, like, time-space, there's no reason why we have to be the ones to bring him in. Because it could happen after us, and he could get out after us as well. Yeah. Um... I don't know. I don't. I, I. I don't condone what this person did. But I also am not against the idea of somebody trying to seek atonement as well. And he's trying to seek atonement in like, like one of the most clear-cut ways you possibly can. 
Yeah, like he's as as you talked to him, like very clearly he understands that these children are orphans, either because he and his people directly killed their families, or because they're they're the children of people that served under him, and so right. he is he is giving them a place to live. He's he's giving them. Uh, like and the times that you've spent with him, he clearly cares for all of these children. Like the children are happy, they're fed. Like they're not just fed and clothed. Like they're happy and they're thriving and they're living. Yes, it sucks they don't have parents, but they're like they're having a good time in an orphanage. You know, as best of a time as you can have. <coughs> and so, hey, careful now, Matt. I know it's an eighteen and up post stream, but shit. Oh my god. <laughs> all right. So there's no Jason Todd. Right. There's no. Yeah. Um, so. So, no, I mean, they're like he's he's like he cares for these children. and He's, you know, and, and the rest. And it's starting to dawn on you as you talk to him. The other people that you've seen helping him are people who survived and who still follow him and who are working there either because they agree with his ideals or just because it's him and they're they're helping him. Right in in his path to make sure that these children that are orphans because like in his head, right, regardless of reality, his perception is these children are orphans because of him, directly because of him, and he is taking care of his debt to society. Yeah, whether there's um I don't know, whether we're the person to bring him in or not, um, which I don't feel like is necessary to not that it's our response time or whatever, but um, whether we're the person that bring him in or not, I'm fairly sure either us or many of his other followers would be the ones to break him out just because I think when we first engaged in this, we assumed that it was a smaller operation, but I think he has more pull than we originally thought because of how... I guess like beloved this person is right it's not even in just like in the small towns or anything we're in a major city yeah. you know and he is able to get away with this okay. so I so, don't yeah go ahead no I, I I just I don't know other than the quick buck of 7,000 but like that would gain us a significant amount of enemies if we were to try and bring him in Unless he were to willingly do it and he could communicate to all of his followers that, hey, don't fuck with these people, which at this point in technology and time, I don't know how that would be possible. I have an idea. Sending. Uh, we don't bring him in. We hire another crew to bring <laughs> him in. Whenever the crew collects the bounty, we kill them, take the bounty money, and then break this guy out and get him back to the orphanage. For the sake of getting the money, but also keeping things as they are. Exactly. What? And this feels weird saying this as a pirate. <laughs> are you in character? Now? Of all people, you'd go for. It. No, I know, I know, I know. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to. I'm, that's why I'm trying to think. Out of character, I'm thinking. Do we need 7,000 gold for anything in particular? <laughs> or do we just want 7,000 gold in general? Um, just... Yeah. See, yeah, As so a... like in Thieves' Can't, I'm going to see the wheel turning in your head. And in uh -huh. Thieves' Can't, I'll be like, so unnecessarily greedy? Or... Are we... <laughs> I, I'm thinking of just taking advantage of an opportunity here. Sure. No, and I I understand that. I just I like at this point now. I guess because I because I, we, we've been working with we've been working not only with him but also with the children. Uh, I'm I'm trying to like figure out what would be best for like the because because at this point now because we've been training people like my realm of like people like give a shit about is a little bit larger than the four than the four of us you know sure sure i, I agree but what i'm saying to, it it so we're gonna go on vacation for a couple of weeks right we all leave together he's in and get the general to explain to the orphans hey you know i gotta go off on this trip and do this thing 
So the kids at the orphanage wouldn't have any idea. We just went fucking camping for a couple of weeks, right? But yeah, we just go pull off this quick scheme and like, why not? It's 7,000 bucks and we still get to do the right thing for these kids. What if we split the, the 7K with him? What if we just give the 7K to him to give to the kids? Man, that's no. Fuck that. <laughs> as, a, as a as a as a player, I'm cool. As a as a pirate, I'm not. I want at yeah, least right, a cut right. if we're gonna do it. But um, I like the I like the idea of getting him in on it because I don't like the idea of of, of cutting him out of this. Oh no, Abs no. I, that's what I'm saying. I don't want to. I'm talking to you guys right now before we introduce this idea to him sure. to get him on board with this. That's that's part of where I'm going with this. Sure. Would he be in on the breakout where, he, yeah, we hire another crew, turn him in, but us break him out. Right. Okay. So, so man, yeah. Quick question. Yeah. All um, of this has been out of character, I'm, just, I'm assuming. Right, right. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I would have. I would picture like this happening, like where all four of us are sitting there, uh, you know, us three and Kasum, and we're all looking at each other, and we can see each other's wheels turning. Uh, it's it's a Parker like, Lewis moment. Kind of huh? It's a Parker Lewis moment. Wow, oh. what a reference, Matt. Parker Lewis. He can't lose. Reference can't of lose. the night. <laughs> wow. He can't lose. Fuck. He also can't win. But anyways, yeah. Um, so as to point three, did I find anything out that there is one here? Oh, absolutely. Okay. Did I make any contact connections or anything? Yeah, that's what I was saying. They they were in no way associated with the... Uh, from what you had found, they were in no way associated with the attacks on the on Right. The did I also, by chance, find out that they were working with someone powerful in the city? You... I.e., if they were working out with Kasum, even if they never mentioned it. You... Some of them are working with various powerful people in the city, but you don't have any names or... Right. Or titles. Okay, that's fair. Yeah. Because it would be kind of stupid to be like, Yeah, we were working with Kasum the whole time. Ah! Yeah. yeah. Right. No. Um, so, as, as we've all had this moment, then I'll look over at me and be like, in Thieves' Camp, uh, so what about, because I've discussed all this with Shmi, not with any, not with the other two, but with Shmi specifically, because it's the whole Thieves' Guild thing, and kind of don't talk about that shit outside guilt. Sure. Um. Uh, that uh, so I'll look over at Shmi and be like, so I have a feeling that the thief still has to be in him. Just be keeping him safe, and but they're kind of fucking up with these these guys that just have been attacking occasionally. So it makes me worry about their defecting him. But you think they could help keep this orphanage going, and we could work something out with them? Yeah, I mean, it sounds like. Uh, from what we could tell, there isn't a whole lot of thieves can't like iconography or anything around town, right? So the thieves right. guild is probably um, in its infancy, I would assume here, or um, they're just or at least not blatant about it. Sure, or that, yeah. or that. It'd be being um, smart thieves and keeping shit way underground. Sure. Yeah. Um, but. You know, if these people are coming to attack, that means either the Thieves Guild is aware and are just want to cash in on the bounty, or some of their lower level people, like maybe some of these dumbasses, um, are lower rank thieves that are going against the Thieves Guild's wishes. Um, <clears throat> because I feel like if the Thieves Guild was going to send people, they would have sent better people than this. Oh yeah, another quick question, Matt. Are our are our captives sit there listening to all this all of this what we're saying now? I mean you're saying all of this in Thieves Camp, so Yeah. So you're, you're I'm gonna look to see if they this. recognize I'm, yeah, I'm gonna see if they, well, Thieves Camp's also like spoken word and yeah. sign at the same time. But but sure. one of them and like shifts in body position. One of them flat out said I don't speak sign language. Yeah. 
Okay, that's one of them. Yeah. Do I, and I look at the other one, do I see any hint of recognition that he can, he realizes what we're saying to each other? Not at all, because he's passed the fuck out. Yeah, the, the one that said no was the only one that was conscious still, so. <laughs> the other two. Wow. Okay. okay. Yeah. So that one's still charmed. He's charmed for an hour. So I got, I got him for a little while. So, and I'm going to talk to that one specifically, like, so who sent you here? The guy with the Molotov? He said he had a job. It was going to pay. We all knew how much the bounty was. We were going to get a cut. We weren't going to, you know, we weren't going to split the seven evenly, but, you know, we were going to get a cut. And, and yeah, I mean, that's good money. Yeah, that's okay. set, that set me up for at least two years. Can I'm I loop the taintless keep... guy? See if I'm there's anything him on him. I'm gonna let him keep talking, and then I'm gonna go find the guy with the the leader. I'm gonna go remove his head. Oh, okay. So you're oh, both. Jesus going Christ. Up. Jesus. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and then I'm gonna uh, yes. come back in. <laughs> and when I come back in, I'm gonna cast uh, gentle repose as a ritual. On the head. Okay. So. I can get answers later. Yeah. Um, <laughs> We're doing the ash thing again. Uh huh. Good. But as I do that, I'm going to make certain that the guy that's tied up that I have charmed sees me performing this ritual. But, like, I can <laughs> always get answers. And I just look at him and smile with a giant toothy grin. <laughs> <laughs> No, none of the kids are around, right? They're all in bed already? Yeah, they're all in bed. Alright, that's um, good. Because <laughs> decapitation happening, so... <laughs> bringing in a severed head and, like, yeah. setting up, like... Fine, like, yeah. Yeah. Sense and pulling my sensor off, and, like, lighting these, candles, these and, like... poor scarred children. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Yeah, so, um... You do, as you're, as you're looking at the, uh... The, the guy that you stabbed through... Um, on his hand, uh, he has uh, a tattoo of a ruby rose on his hand. Oh, son of a bitch. Was this that? That's the group at the very beginning. That's what, yeah, thank you. I'm like, this yeah. is the group at the very fucking beginning of this whole mess. Yeah, yeah, they sure are. They sure are. But this guy's already dead, right? Well, this guy. Well, this guy is, but it's a it's a huge syndicate. This is part oh. of the ruby hand, yeah. <clears throat> okay, sure. So, all right, all right, cool. The guy who's, like, one of their major people, we, we <laughs> killed their son 15 years in the future. Right, right, yeah, 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 yeah. I'm, yes. Uh, all right, okay. Do they all have this tattoo? Or is nope, it just, just him. One? So he's the one who organized it, so he was the one that was after it. So, so the maybe leader, the Thieves' okay. Guild is trying to protect this guy and keep things under wrap, if if there is a an established Thieves' Guild here. Uh, but the um, <laughs> but the Ruby Hand are after him. Okay. Um, Hey, Cass, does the name Ruby Hand mean anything to you? No. Okay. We've had run-ins with you? these people. Sorry, go ahead. I was just gonna ask the the guy I have charm. Oh, that's right. This yeah. Means anything to him? No. Gotcha. <coughs> All right. Well, I stabbed the main the guy who would give us answers at the taint uh, and <laughs> punctured his lungs. So. Uh, so get him. It makes interrogating a little difficult, but uh, I believe we have encountered this syndicate in the, and then like an awkward pause passed. Um, so you have a major crime syndicate after you. Yay. Yeah, I mean, not great. Not a great situation. If they know where you are, I'm gonna assume they're gonna keep sending people. This guy was a fairly low guy, but if they realize he hasn't come yet, come back, then they may keep sending more and more people. 
Oh, no, May, they will. All right. Yeah. They want the money. Then, uh... What if... What if we fake turning you in so that they'll stop sending people? Yeah, took the words right out of my mouth. Okay. Um, I mean, I'm sure that you'll want to keep uh, helping out the orphanage in some way. So obviously, we'll 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 cash you in on part of the uh, on 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 you know the the reward money for you. But if we take you in, we'll get paid. We'll find a way to get you the money or get it to your people. Because I know that you have plenty. I do. Okay. All right. Well, that might be a way to get these people off of you at least for a while. Give me a... Give me a day. Okay. Come back Come back tomorrow night and everything should be set up. Understood. We're, uh, we're at the spotless meet if you need us. <laughs> spotless meet. <laughs> That place cracks me up. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. We can, uh, we can do this. Um, All right. I do ask. Uh, I yes. Do ask that while we do this, if you have, if if I have to leave town in cuffs, that's fine. But while we travel until we get to the capital, I ask not to be cuffed. Sure, I have no problem with you. If, if anything, like, this is... Yes, we are getting paid out of this, but also, you seem to be legitimately trying to do good, and I have no qualms with you, so... Um, that, that, well, that does pose an issue. We're in a town that's highly sympathetic to you and your cause and your redemption. Leading you out strapped up I don't think we'd get out of town. Quite possibly even alive. Do you have ties <laughs> with the Thieves Guild here? If I did, and I said that I did, mm -hmm. that would be bad for those ties. Understood. Guys, right, so if... why, why can't we just sneak him out in a wagon? Sure. Okay, okay. The, charmed, well, look. the charmed guy, hold on, before we go any further, the guy that's sure. got charmed, I'm going to knock his ass out. Okay. <laughs> All right, fair enough. <laughs> Good call. <laughs> just straight up take my light hammer and just ding and yeah. crack him to, into, into sleep him. Yeah. Hypothetically, okay. if you were to be taken in by anybody, you know, uh, if, if you were to have ties to the Thieves Guild, and I signed in Thieves Can't, I do. Um, <laughs> then, uh, you know, if you could get them off of our backs beforehand, that would be ideal for all of us. I'll, I'll set... Everything will be set up tomorrow night. Understood. I, you know, I don't know what kind of pageantry you guys were planning or had in mind. The... Either way, the Magister kind of looks the other way, considering that his nephew's here. Uh, <clears throat> but, yeah. I, I, I wonder if we might be able to get the whole town in on this as, like, cursing you and, 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 you know, really sell this so that anyone in this town that isn't for you that might be giving word somewhere that they pass off that you were taken in and that you resisted and the whole town was up in arms for you to be vaulted out of here that would take more than a day to put together well how long would that take I think that would sell it better I don't know let's Give give me two days. Sure. Two days. Fair enough. And I can, I mean, it won't be that level of pageantry, but we can put something together in two days. Sure. Okay. And uh, we'll we'll keep an eye out for any more Maltovs, I suppose. Yeah. I would appreciate that. Yeah, definitely. We're staying just down, the, just down the street over at the, like, like I said, over at the meet, so. Yeah. So now the question comes to the two that are still alive. 
The three. What do we do with these two? The three. Oh, that three. Are alive? Yeah, there's the three, three that are alive. What do we do? These with guys these weren't. Three? These were neither thieves guild nor were they red hand. So they are essentially not important to our cause or what we're trying to do. <clears throat> um. Cass. Let's go. Uh, I say we just leave him tied up and uh, and leave kick him, him over in, in front of the somewhere. magister. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Um, my my only concern is uh, them uh, uh, shooting their mouths off at some point because seeing as they're complete hired amateurs, two of them saw that nothing. They won't get to, well, yeah. One of them did. If we want to kill one of them, the one that saw that's... something, that's probably the safest bet. And then we could kick the other two in the middle of the town square with a sign on them that says, I try to burn down the or orphanage. He laughs. Like, you say that and he laughs. It's like, I like that. Cool. Okay. All right. That's, that's, a, good, that's a good don't fuck with the orphanage message. Yep. <clears throat> All right. I'll get to work uh, making a sign. I'm getting get my you, arts uh... and crafts on. So. You you said something about a crime syndicate. What what's up with that? So, and then I I I, I go in thieves can't uh, real quick. Oh, I guess he can he can he, he he it seemed like he understood thieves can't. Never mind. Um, if I said something very strange, <laughs> would you? I, I, how, how much of the supernatural or of the magical realms have you had to deal with in the past, Cass? Okay. Let me let me ask this question again. In a different way. Is one of these people with that crime syndicate? The dead one. Was. Are they, are they going to want that body back? Great question. I don't know. Should that we take care of it in some way? Should that body be shipped to them? Mm, or the hand? That might be overplaying your hand. So if we're going to be gone in a couple of days. Why can't we just hide? Why can't we just stash this body? So holes are easy to dig. They are. Gentle, gentlemen, 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 gentlemen. Yes, folks. Sure. <sighs> There's a dead crime syndicate member outside my orphanage who, according to you, it seems was sent here for me. I'm going to be gone, and I don't know for how long. If that individual doesn't report back, what happens? They will send somebody to either investigate or attack but then if we just send it back they will absolutely attack but if the pageantry as you call it is good enough they'll come to this town find out that a rival bounty collector has taken you from this town on to your final destination quote unquote of the capital yeah and we'll leave the town alone. I don't see disappointed and empty-handed. Right. They might harass the town until they get what they feel is a good answer. I mean, there's there's no foreknowledge of that, but right. If you're not here to be caught, you're not here. Right. My concern is what they would do to the orphanage if I'm not here. My... Uh, they, if they broke in, they would find that you're not here, nowhere to be found. All right. But I think your magister friend could aid in that route. So, do I need to take care of the body, or will you take care of the body? I, I think we can handle. It. We'll handle. We the have body. a friend that actually specializes in taking care of bodies. So <laughs> I, think, I think he'll be quite happy if we, uh, if we bring him something. So. Like I said, we have many magical friends and some that I did not think would be wise to bring to the orphanage, so... Good call. Know. Good call. That's yeah. fair. Okay. Well then, meet me here uh, two nights from now. And and we... We will... be laying out our plan for our exit. 
Sounds good. Sounds like a plan. Thank you, Tim. Not an ideal situation. But it was For bound to happen us. sooner or later, I'm sure. Yes. Fair enough. All right. Uh, see you. See you soon. All right. So we're gonna just haul off and execute this one dude that's been charmed. Yes. Okay. Oh. Okay. All right. I, well, he's I mean, the one who had, he, he's the one who with any information. Yeah. Yeah. No, that's fair. I. Yeah. Y'all do what y'all do. So what okay. Do perfect. I'm gonna go drag um, the two the two conscious uh, unconscious ones into the town square and paint a little sign on them that says we try to burn the orphanage. Uh, I'll take care of that part. So while you're doing this, the town like like there's noise in the town, right? Like there okay. has been people partying or drinking or whatever, but it seems like as you're walking through the town, no matter where you are. You're alone. Huh. Cool. Can I get a perception check on myself? Sure. Can I look around? Yeah. <laughs> yeah I've 20. got a perception of 16. Tell me if I need to roll, though. Yeah. Nah, you, yeah. So what, what are you trying to perceive? I'm trying to see if it's too quiet. I assume I'm being watched. Is generally how it goes. Yeah. So you you could assume that you're being watched, but also that the crowds are being moved out of your way, so you can do what you need to do. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Right. Um, can I sign and like as if I'm kind of muttering to myself, but also not. Um, in Thieves Can't Say, if you're out there, I would like to talk. Alright. Uh, a crossbow bolt lands at one of y'all's feet with a note wrapped around it, coming from an alleyway. Okay. I'm gonna grab it and read it. Alright. What's up? <laughs> 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 Fuck. Uh, all right, still ran enough. by chads. <laughs> <laughs> all right, uh, and I guess out loud again, I will just say, um, uh, we've. Uh, oh, I get. Uh, fuck. If, if, if they cleared things out for us, then you, you were aware of the situation. Um, and, I, and I'll kind of pause you like midway through and be like, just meet us at the bu busty fiddler tomorrow evening. There we go. And thieves can. Alright. Perfect. Cool. There's no response. That's right. fine. Don't need there to be one. Alright. I do my business. Yep. Hmm. So when I say that it's cleared out, I mean there's no guards. There's yeah, no yeah, yeah, yeah. citizens. Like, like the streets are almost eerily empty. Got and it. Uh, I want to find the two that uh, were running off and we iced. Uh, find them. You can't. Uh, oh. Okay. <laughs> Alright, our old friends took care of that already for us. That's fine. Okay. Um, <clears throat> then the leader's body, whoever we killed that we can still acquire, uh, is the leader's body still out there? Yeah, whatever y'all did with it, yeah. You have that one. No, I just decapitated it. Okay. Yeah, it's still out there. Okay, because I was going to go find a shovel and dig holes and put bodies in the hole. Okay. I'm gonna hail. Alright. Yeah. Y'all get all this done just a little bit before sunrise. Uh, yeah, and the the bodies uh, when I dig holes I'm digging them outside of town. Okay. Okay. Cause, whoa, wait a minute. <laughs> there is a river that runs through the town. Hey, yeah, they're sad. Oh, oh perfect. Let's just go drop them in that shit. Put some, uh, put some rocks in their pockets and drop them in there. There you go. Yeah, that doesn't ever work out as well as you expect it to. Shut up. It's D and D, man. It's really cool. Let it go. <laughs> <laughs> However, I, I was thinking mafia style. I was gonna go look for like some kind of like like building site that's getting ready to be built. Like they're prepping it. 
because you know oh I'm, you bury I'm, him in the foundation yeah i was gonna bury him into the ground so when they go to lay the stone <laughs> over, him up, yeah. over the bottom <laughs> uh, fuck. i mean if you really if you got a hard on for it i'm down but i'm just thinking fucking rocks in the pockets and chunk them in the river yeah. so that, that uh, river, hawkins razor that hey, river now these guys wanted to be be part of something wrong and dirty and so Try let to make a quick buck. <laughs> so let's just put them somewhere that they're always going to be underfoot. So that river does run south. You don't know how far south it runs, but it does run south. Yeah, I'm kind of not cool with leaving bodies floating there out in the open. There, chance of somebody finding them. God, I, I'm, I'm easy. I don't give a shit. Yeah, uh, that works. As long as it gets taken care of, I don't really mind. Right. Yeah, because out of game, <clears throat> my stupid, um, I was thinking, oh, well, shit, they're going to have to dig it to prep the soil to pour a slab. And I was like, this is not the real world. Nope. <laughs> no, it's not. This is not White Wolf, William. Hey, hey, now. That worked out. It, but anyways. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, that's that's what I would prefer to do if that's a possibility. Yeah, you can you can take care of the bodies. You can dig holes. I mean, like I said, there's a river that runs through town. If you, however you want to do that, if you. Oh no! <clears> I want to find a site that looks like they're getting ready to build something on top of and bury the bodies there. Oh, that no! You don't find a. They're not doing any modern construction currently. Okay. Well, outside the town, find a tree, dig a hole. Okay. You find a tree, <laughs> dig a hole. Bodies in hole. All Cover right. hole up. Bodies are in the hole. And you, you're and, able to get all of this done right before sunup. So it's about an hour before sunup. And then I will appear back at my 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 little boost table thing I've set up. Completely exhausted. If I say, yeah, I fucking... Uh, uh. <laughs> yeah, you guys need to rest. <laughs> yeah. All right. So y'all go through this. You set up your shop. We're going to fast forward. Meridim, you get your mall. Hey. Uh, the day that y'all are leaving. So it's it's that night y'all meet up at the orphanage. So, <clears throat> the two weeks have, or the two days have fast forwarded. You got them all. Was there anything significant that y'all wanted to do during those those days other than rest? Uh, meet, uh, go to the Busty Fiddler that next, that very evening. Okay, what was supposed to happen at the Busty Fiddler? Uh, that is where we had, uh... Said to meet the Thieves Guild people. Yep. Uh, that's right. Okay. So. You go into the Bustly Fiddler. Um, all three of you are there, I'm assuming. And it is a very crowded, uh, bar. Um, true to its name, there is a stage. And on the stage is a very well-endowed dwarven woman with a very long flowing red beard because fuck Amazon dwarven women have beards too they um, do <clears throat> yep. so very long beard with like lots of like uh, filigree in it like lots of gold and other stuff to make it just decorative and she is like I said very well endowed and she is fiddling away at what? a fiddle? <laughs> Her vagina. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back after the question. I just asked a question. Welcome back <laughs> after the break. This is an eighteen and up stream. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Uh, Turtle pig, what's you, what's your what's your catchphrase again? Uh, it's <laughs> your boy. <laughs> <laughs> Balls deep. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Good. Yeah. There it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was Meridum's, I guess. Yeah. Uh, yeah his, his addition. Yeah. Um. No. Yeah. She. She's playing a fiddle, and she could give Johnny a run for his money. I bet you she could give Johnny a lot of things. She could. <laughs> Cute reference. That's nice. That's good. Crowded One of my bar. favorite. I love the um. I love the entire Futurama episode that referenced uh, uh, Devil Went Down to Georgia. Yeah. That was a really fun one. That was, that was a, a great one. one. Yeah. yeah. So, she's fiddling. Like I said, the the tavern is packed. Um, you know, it's it's well lit. 
There's lots of noise. There are no eggs on the bar. Damn it. Uh, <laughs> yeah, sorry. <laughs> Word got around town after what happened. <laughs> right? Like, Why take your eggs out? You see the little one with the purple and blue hair. Just get rid of it. Oh yeah, don't 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 let don't let him have any eggs. Yeah. No. <laughs> Although this place does have overflowing potato skins. Ooh. I'm still hungry. I mean, <laughs> potato skins are great. Yeah. Deep fried potato skins. Hell yeah. Yeah, it's a platter of potato skins overflowing with a melange of garlic, onion, and just meat. Which may I'll or may order, not have been I'll, spotted. I'll, I'll place an order for that. Okay. Yeah, that's a gold and five silver. Sure. Oh, yeah, I'm coughing up for that. Yeah. So, yeah. Um, and tea. Yeah. So, who... Was there anyone specific that you were looking for from the Thieves Guild? Um, no one specific because I don't think she or I really know anyone. Like, yeah, said, we don't know I anybody. Didn't make any contact, so we just, just wanted to uh, have seconds. some. Uh, I, I think. Well, I don't know. I, I can't speak for you. You're the one that suggested we meet here. So, w whatever your intentions were. Uh, so if we're like while well, we're waiting and kind of looking around and see if we notice anyone, uh, just conversing with me uh, that you know, find out what their involvement with the sim is if we can find out, see if we can't get them to if they're agreeable to help us carry this ruse off and keep this orphanage in good standing and find ways to do that. Yeah, that's that's generally along the same lines I was thinking. So yeah, we need to try and find a a, 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 a crew we don't have a problem offing later. But... <laughs> so your your platters of potato skins come out and uh Maritim yours has a dagger stuck in the platter. Like resting in it, or just like you're gonna die when you eat it. No, like like just like stuck in the platter. Okay. There, there's a note wrapped around the hilt. Okay, good. I was <laughs> like, <laughs> it's, 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 it's a little more yeah. menacing. Like, yeah, okay. yeah, it was kind of menacing. I was <laughs> like, you're gonna die when you eat this potato. <laughs> yeah, boil them, <laughs> mash them, stick them in a stew. Yeah, Stick so there's, there's a note wrapped around the, the hilt. Or the handle. Okay, I'll pull the note off the note. It says, uh, follow the elf outside. I'll, I'll, I'm looking for an elf as I'm eating my potato skin, because I may not have much time left. Yeah, alright. <laughs> so, uh, an elven gentleman gets up and, uh, slams a drink down. And he says, uh, right! I'm gonna pop out for some air. I'll uh, I'll be back for all your money. So uh, drink up. And he tosses like five gold on the table, and uh, he casually walks outside. He's got uh, he's got brown hair pulled up into a tight bun, uh, olivish skin. His fingernails are painted black green eyes he walks outside and I'm assuming there's only one main in and out of this place the yeah. Door. yeah there's a yeah do I see anybody caring or paying attention as he leaves nah Okay, yeah, I'll bump me and be like, you want to go talk to him? And then I'll join you out there in a minute. Uh, honestly, I wasn't really sure what you wanted to discuss with them. I just wanted to uh, make sure that we were cool. It was my main thing. So if you want to go out and I will join, then we can do that. Because I'm not really sure exactly what you're trying to assess. Right. Um, so yeah, I'll uh, stand up and 
I know I've already I've already put my cloak back over, so my wings are have been hidden. Okay. And I've tr- I've I've made sure to keep that going on the entire three weeks as much as possible. Okay. Good deal. Yeah. I, I, I don't need everyone in town going. Hey. I'm just gonna uh, kick it. I'm just gonna kick it in the bar because this is like this is a, out of my wheelhouse. All right. So is it just Meredith going outside? For now. Okay. <clears throat> All right. When you go out, he's he's leaning against a post and he's got a, a roll of tobacco that he has lit and he's smoking on it. Fine. Huh. I guess they don't allow this inside, and I'm gonna pull out like this little like. Uh, pipe you know just a tobacco pipe but it's a chicken's foot <laughs> that's apropos that's, I like that that's apropos that's cool. <laughs> that is so apropos God damn it. with like this little like tiger's eye stone set in the center in in the, the clutches of this little chicken foot pipe yeah yeah but it's an actually it's actually a chicken's foot yeah. Like, it's not wood to look like a chicken's foot. Nope. It's actually a chicken's foot. It's chicken's foot. Nice. Yeah. Fucking Genuine. Fae. Fucking fake. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> so he's just, he's just smoking, and he's, he's, uh, being overt without being overt. Like, he's, he's, uh, rolling a coin along his fingers. That's a dead giveaway. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, like, like he's doing everything short of holding up a sign that says, hey, does, I'm the person you're supposed to talk to. Right. Like, do you want to talk here or you want to step off the side out, side of the main thoroughfare? Well, I don't know. That, that depends on, uh, on what you care about being said and being heard. Uh, a lot. Well, we can start here, and then if we need to, we can go around the corner. Huh? All right. So, uh, what's your what's your read on this uh, town and its uh, devotion toward war heroes? Well, I think uh, I think everybody loves a good war hero, don't they? I mean, hmm. you know, make people, for good stories. People who go off and uh, they they. Uh, they fight for king and country, right? Um, you know, where I'm from, that's, uh, you know, we, we have wars, but I mean, our wars last a lot longer. Oh, I know they do. But, uh, what, uh, what, what'd you, what'd you want to be? So what's your take on Kasun? How do you feel about this person? Well, I don't... I don't feel any way personally. I mean, he's, he's a pretty alright bloke. You know, he can... Uh, he can take the piss like anyone. He can, he can drink just about anybody under a table. Shy of a dwarf. Mm-hmm. <coughs> but what about the attention he brings to this town? And has in the past three weeks? Oh, well... I mean, you know, it's not like, it's not like he carried, carried the crosses back here with him and lined the town with him or nothing. You know, if he allegedly, right, allegedly did that. Um, you know, I, I think, uh, I think he's a troubled man who's, who's trying to, uh, do some things, maybe, maybe make up for himself. Maybe, maybe make a name for himself without. Uh, maybe make a new name for himself, right? With that uh, the fancy little moniker he's got there. I thought it was pretty clever. <laughs> I think you gave him away a little bit. Well, I don't know how long you've been in town. Yeah, about three weeks now. Yeah. How long did it take you to decipher it? Once I heard it and knew about it, right, fairly quickly. 
So, so once you knew that 1 plus 1, right, but when you didn't know 1 plus x equaled y, you, you didn't know what shit was shit, right? Yeah, but it didn't take very long. Well, sure. And I can say pretty confidently the situation that was handled the other night, someone knows he's here. Oh, well, yeah. And will return. Sure. Sure. So, I guess my question also is, what kind of attention is that going to put on the brethren here? And how difficult will that then make your lives if... Well, I guess, I guess my life would be as difficult as I choose to make it, right? I mean, whatever attention I choose to to bring upon myself, right? I mean, you know, the the act of a the act of a merchant, right? So let's say a merchant going around selling his wares, whether he sells his wares or not, whether he pisses off the the mayor or not, has no effect on me, right? If he happens to piss off some blokes in another country, and they happen to come in here looking for him that doesn't much mean to me anything right so if i choose to get involved well then it becomes my problem but until then i don't i i don't pay no never mind Hmm. i guess it's okay until it starts affecting the bot until it it starts affecting the point well, I mean, I mean, let, let me see if I can explain it in a different way, right? So, so let's say you came into town and you had a problem with somebody in town and you decided to take care of that problem. Unless the person you had a problem with had some sort of agreement with me your problem with them is their problem with you right Mm -hmm. so you're one person they're one person what do I care Hmm. there's an interesting question what's your favorite color of rose you know, I've always heard that the yellow ones are the prettiest. Never been fond of red. Well, I've never been in love, mate. So, I mean, you know. But I think well, Texan elf. What the hell's happening? <laughs> <laughs> I think uh, I think ruby roses are unnatural, though, right? Like gems can't be roses unless you cut them. And who the fuck's got the time to do that? Uh, somebody does because. I did spy a ruby rose in the town, this town, the other night. Yeah, no, I, yeah, I saw it. Or at least I was made aware of it. And that was only one pesky flower. Sure. But one does wonder what would happen if an entire field of those pesky flowers started sprouting up in one home. Well, I mean, as as any horticulturist will tell you, right? If if you got a bunch of of plants that you don't want, you just set them on fire. <laughs> Could I do an insight check and see if he's like flipping me around trying to find out if I'm trustworthy or not? Absolutely. How about a nat twenty with a suit? Oh yeah, dude. He's well he's he's trying to like 
he's not lying to you in any way, but right. he's he's being purposely standoffish. Because he, he like it's almost as if he thinks you're being purposely standoffish. Mm-hmm. So he's he's returning what you're giving. Right. Yeah. So it's that kind of whole that that whole like roller coaster ride of conversation <laughs> like dancing around the issue before getting to it yep which it's like the whole I, i'm feeling this guy out because i'm trying to figure out if he's willing to how tied in he is to the community here in this city and yep. what an invasion from a crime syndicate would do to him and if he gives a shit about what it does to the entire thieves guild and the town by proxy. Yeah. And he's he's absolutely toying with you, but at the same time, you definitely get the gist of what he meant when he said if you have a flower that you don't want, or if you have a crop that you don't want, you you burn it. Right. Yeah. Effectively you kill them all. Right, but do I also take that to mean that he has sympathy for Kasum and what Kasum has done and is trying to do now. So if you remember what he said, he said, if you don't have an agreement with me, what do I care? Yeah. So that's something to think on. How would Meritum take this? Not how does William take it? How, what would Meritum right, right, right. think? Well, Meritum would see that... See, that's, that's a tricky thing. Because it's not, it's not definitive whether Kasum and the Thieves Guild are copacetic with each other right. or have yet to consummate that marriage. Right. So how would you ask that question? Or would you? Oh yeah, I would at this point, yeah. <laughs> so how would you ask it? How supportive are you of Kasum? And what is what what good is he to you? Oh, he's a great bloke. We uh, <clears throat> yeah, I gotta get that accent back. <laughs> You're doing good, right? No, he's he's a great bloke. Um, you know, we we stood side by side. So you fought with him? Absolutely, more than once. So. It would be in your preferred interest. I don't know about the, the, the guild here to uh, see that he continues about his mission of redemption. He laughs a little bit like... My interest, mayhap, mayhap. I mean, at the end of the day, I think he's an alright bloke. Um, I think, I think he's got a lot of demons, right? But uh, you know, <coughs> I, I also think that uh, he takes care of himself fairly well. Takes care of those he cares about fairly well takes care of his friends fairly well. You know what they say about friends. Friends take care of each other to the end. Hmm. But there's also a saying that you keep enemies close. Sometimes closer than your own friends. Well, sure. I, I. So here, here's where I'm trying to flip him around. <laughs> yeah, he's, like, right, he's like, you're gonna give something up. He's like, but you know, they also say that the enemy of my enemy is my friend. A saying off. <laughs> yeah. 
We're fucking getting an yep. old man out here. <laughs> he's, just, he's just a never-ending, like, skeptic off where they're both just looking at each other with, like, a one eye, kind of, and then the camera just keeps going in and in and in. Just waiting for the dad joke off again. <laughs> yeah, until Stinkmeyer shows up. <laughs> I, I'm gonna kind of, like, keep going back and forth with him until Shmi eventually shows up because we never agreed on a way to signal for him to come out. Alright, I'll pop in. Yeah. <laughs> ah, another weed bugger. No offense. Of course. In Thieves Camp. No worries. Alright. Uh, what are we doing about these red fuckers? <laughs> 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 he, he, you say that, he's taking a drag and then he just he coughs all the smoke out <laughs> and just starts laughing. And he's like, I like you. I like you a lot. <laughs> well, I, I suppose your answer will know, will know if I reciprocate that or not, but I appreciate it. So what, I, what's your concern? What, what are you worried about? Where, this sounds strange, where we come from they are a big problem. Are they a big problem here? I mean, not really. It's it's a guy. And he's got, I mean, he's got a small following, right? But they're all... And I'll, I'm gonna, at that moment, I'm gonna look at Shmi and give him that knowing look, like... And I'm gonna say out loud, they aren't right now, but eventually they might be. And kind of, like, purse my lips and just look back at him. Yeah, but they're all like they're all down south, mate. Like, uh, it, yeah, like it's 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 a family thing, right? But like, I mean, I don't consider them a threat at all. Well, I just <laughs> we have reason to believe that they could be a bigger threat, at least in the long run. So we just wanted to make sure that everything was okay here because we've made ties now with Cass and the orphanage and we just want to make sure that things are taken care of. So we want to touch base with the guild here because we're from we're from another guild. So Right, right. Well, man, I mean, that's that's why we let you do your thing last night, right? Like, right. We, we saw what you've been doing. And we, we appreciate, and we appreciate the assistance. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. We just want to make sure we're all on the same understanding. Were you able to... Help. Do you know anything of, of plans? Of, of upcoming plans? I mean, I know lots of things of upcoming plans. All kinds of different <laughs> plans. Our <laughs> upcoming plans. Sure. And in, in, in Thieves Camp, just in, sci just in sign alone, I'm going to basically tell uh, uh, Shmi, uh, it's like a cat chasing its own tail with this guy. <laughs> 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 he laughs at that, too. Uh... Guys, look, he's a grown man, and whatever he chooses to do is what he chooses to do, right? So, you know, he trusts you guys. You guys have been doing good things, right? Y'all have been helping the wee ones, and, and we appreciate that, right? I mean, you know, we all got to recruit from somewhere. Uh, you know, not, not maliciously, of course, right? No, I um, get it. But, That's how uh, I started. Yeah, right? Um, a fucking dwarf. Where the fuck he ran off to? Um, the that, busty one? No, 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 not her. Uh, <laughs> the, uh, the fucker with the cobalt. That that dude's fucking weird. Anyways. Um, oh, the land pirate. Yeah. Yeah, yeah that motherfucker. Whatever the fuck a land pirate uh, is. Weird is a matter of perspective. Right, well. Well, you are. Yeah, yeah. well. So, you don't count. <laughs> as 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 I take a toke off my my chicken claw pipe. Look, <laughs> like he doesn't even seem bothered by it. He's like he's like, look, seeing as you guys are a friend of a friend, but you're not friends. There's not a whole lot that I can really tell you, and that's okay, right? Because there's a lot of things that you don't need to know about. Sure. Look, I don't need to know your business. Right. I just need to make sure that we're cool and there won't be interference 
between our ends and y'all's ends. All right, well, I mean, you know, what is it that the kids are saying these days? Don't start none, won't be none, right? <laughs> um, <laughs> the kids at the orphanage don't say that, but sure, I understand. Yeah, yeah well, I mean, you know, the 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 eighty year I, I the eighty year old elves, right? That'll be a huge phrase in the future. <laughs> the, the little the little eighty year old elves running around, right? Right. Yes. Yeah. Of course, those ones. So, guys, look, he's a grown man who makes his own choices, right? I mean, friends are friends are friends and all that, right? Um, so we appreciate what you're doing and you know we saw that you guys did what you did last night and we also saw that there was a potential that you know if, if one of the screws happened to uh, see you dragging some bodies through a street that could be problematic for everyone involved right so you know we scratched your back a little bit that's alright you don't owe us nothing for it so, uh, uh... Insight check? Yeah, go ahead. What are you trying to insight? Yeah, it, yeah it, if what he said was total bullshit, like, it's free, no charge. No, it, it's it's not bullshit at all. Okay, good. Yeah. Because I was like, yeah, it's cool, and then, like, months later, we get this note, like, we're gonna do the job. No, no. Uh, it's like, but, uh, you know, the... The other fuckers don't, you know, unless you're going to stick around, you don't need to worry, right? I think, I think what you got more to worry about is your little, uh, your little, uh, what's, what's the stuff you put on, uh, oh, it's a pastry, right? It's a circular pastry. You cut it in half and you, you, you spread the stuff on it, right? Bagel? And then you eat it. A bagel? Yeah, yeah. What, what do you put on that? Cream cheese. Yeah, what what do you call that? What do they what do they call that? Schmear? Yeah, 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 that stuff. Your little schmear campaign there. I think you uh <laughs> <laughs> I think I think maybe you, you need to worry about that a little bit more, right? I, I don't I don't know how you're gonna pull that off. Uh you know. But that's alright. Alright, well that was my main concern. Meredith, if you got something else, then uh you can do that, but I'm gonna go ogle some dwarf tits some more, so all right. All right. Pleasure to meet you, uh, elf. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Pleasure to meet you, uh, deep dwarf. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, no, close. No. Close. Oh no. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. No beard. Right. No beard. Yeah. yeah they don't is. all look alike. I get how that can be confusing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I'm just uh, I'm just staring at my high and mighty self. Because we don't have a name, so nope. I'm just going with Smeez. Hell, yep. Help. No one, no one asked him for a name. Hmm. Well, yeah, because I haven't given mine yet either. So, yep. Is there anything else I can do for you, Blue? Well, as as Shmi saunters off to Booby Land. Yeah. <laughs> uh, like so. Here's my idea. Oh, Meritum is my name. Are you giving it to me? Yeah. Ho 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 ho! All right. And your, I mean, we're being cordial now, yes. Well, I'll tell you my name, but you cannot have it. Oh. <laughs> but I've got yours now. Um, Decept I want to roll deception because I didn't give him my name. <laughs> but he asked if you gave it to him. Yeah. Yeah, that's a 14. I, I don't know what he wants to roll against that. Cause that's not my name. But oh, well, I fine. gave him my name. Yeah, you, you gave him Meriton, right? Uh, uh huh. He says, uh, you you can call me uh you can call me Lok. Lok. Yeah. Yeah, you'll have to spell it. That's super simple. I'll put it in the, in the chat here. Oh. Ah, okay. Uh, so here's our idea is 
we uh, we appreciate Kasim's intention on taking care of these children whose parents' death he caused. Yeah. And we want to draw attention away from the town at the same time. Yeah. And there is a bounty on his head simultaneously. Sure. And we're trying to figure out the best way to keep this syndicate from continuing to come to this town. We don't want these children harmed. So unless there's a way to get him out of this town, believe him, they're going to keep coming back. And that could wreak havoc on your town. Could eventually possibly wreak havoc on y'all's coffers as well. And no one wants that. Right. Okay. I'm with you. Uh, have, have you ever heard of a, a Chate Shuffle? Would I have? Probably not. Okay, no. Right, so... It sounds pretty. So a Chate Shuffle, right, there's, there's this place, it's called Hota, right? And, and there's this little city, right? right on, it's a little border town, well, a little, a little coastal town, right? And it's called uh, Chate. And uh, what you do, really, when you do a Chate Shuffle, is... Uh, you make them. Ooh, connection's unstable. That's not good. Um, with a chate shuffle, what you do is you make them look left when you go right. So, I think I can put something together for you guys to help you out. But, uh, I need to borrow one of your mates. Borrow? Yeah. I hear mates and I poke my head back out. Huh? Right. I'll, I'll like, like wiggle my finger to come back outside. You know what's up? So I got a plan that'll help everybody. I think that'll definitely help me. It should help you and your friends. But uh, I need to borrow one of you guys. Go on for uh, for for what we're talking about. So. What if, right, because you're talking about drawing heat away, what if we make it look like he's going one way when he's going the other, but we make it look like he's going both ways? Oh, like a Chate Shuffle. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> 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 Be happy with yourself. <laughs> Shmi's been around. He's 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 heard of other people's uh, other other things. I don't doubt it. That's why. Uh, that's why at some point I was like, I can't keep going on with this because I don't know enough about this world and yeah. the, uh, the shit that happens here. I was like, eh, okay, I need you back out here. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Like a Shante shuffle. Right. Perfect. So. But what I need is I need somebody who can sell. Who can what? Who can sell? Oh, I, I was a pirate. I can absolutely sell. Well, all right then. You just volunteered. Congratulations. Well, let's do the damn thing then. Uh, I I uh, I haven't been on the seas in a bit. I'm pretty excited actually. All right. Well, you know, I we'll see how much they've changed. <laughs> more than I, more than I, uh, more than I imagine, but uh, all right, fair enough. So, what do you need me to do? You need me to? Am I the bait, or am I actually taking him? Well, I mean, we're gonna we're gonna make it be the bait. Right? Okay, yeah, fair enough. Let's do it. All right. So, so I mean, like, would this <clears throat> help? So, as I, uh, have we had a chance to have a long rest yet? Oh yeah, yeah, absolutely. Okay. Okay, so as we're talking about this, I'm going to cast uh, Enlarge Reduce on myself. I'm going to make myself taller. 
Okay. And then I'm going to cast Disguise Self on myself to make myself look like General Kasumi. Okay. He's like, oh. oh. He's like, we can do that too. Hmm. I mean, I mean very, very good. Good, good hmm. job. <laughs> Sorry, mate. <laughs> I'm squinting an eye while taking another draw <laughs> off my my pipe. Right, now you're just being condom. <laughs> <laughs> I don't mean to be. Right, I'm. I'm just. I'm an oh, elf. Oh no, I'm not saying that. I'm just giving. Uh, he's an elf. Look. <laughs> yeah. He's like, I don't. I don't mean to be. Right. I just, you know. Uh, right. So. And then I'm gonna just spell both of those. I need to spend spell slots. Bye bye. I don't remember when I made the capital. Anyways, he's like, look. So, you know, there's a large city. There's there's a river, right? A boat. I mean, you know, a good-sized boat. Maybe not a pirate ship. But a good-sized boat will fit down the river. Headed towards the capital. Right? Capital's got a river through it. So, you know, we'll have the boat on a bait. Or a bait on the boat. And, uh, you know, one if by land, two if by sea, whatever. Right, you guys, you guys figure it out. But uh, yeah, and then uh, this, however, does have a fee. And what's that? Well, once once you're done being bait, I I need you to deliver the cargo. Which cargo is that? The cargo on the ship. Oh. I see. So you actually need me to be a pirate. <coughs> well, I mean, you know, a, del- a, 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 a an entrepreneur, a, <laughs> a private I need, I need sure. you. I need you to actually go to Chate. All right. I mean, so wait, you're actually gonna do the shuffle? I, yeah. 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 Okay. That's that's okay. that's how this works. Well, no, he's just saying you're you're going to Chate. Oh, sure, sure. Yeah. Ah, you're literally going to do <laughs> Yeah, I mean, there are dance halls there. I mean, you know, it's, it's entertaining. You, you want to shuffle while in Chate, you do a Chate shuffle. This yeah, elf is sense. killing my jokes. <laughs> <laughs> well, I want this to work. <clears throat> and uh, I'm, I'm not going to lie. Uh, Cass and uh, and the orphanage, uh, you know, it's it's been a fun couple of... Uh, been a fun couple of weeks and I don't want anything bad to happen to them. You uh you locking to be able to stay out of trouble with uh with me out on the open seas? I, oh, I think so. It, and I'm just going to do that whole like southern bell kind of like I I think we were fine. You faded out. I didn't hear you at the end there. Oh, I think we will be fine. No. <laughs> 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 got it. Got it. <laughs> As well, a for never... I think uh, it sounds like the it sounds like the best course of option that we have uh, that we have right now. And uh, I mean, I don't know how long it's going to take for us to get the uh, uh, the other idea going. This seems like it'll be a, kind of a quick and easier thing, especially for trying to get out of dash soon. So. Oh no! I mean, you're you're still gonna. You know, he's still doing his part of the plan, mate. Right? The whole mm-hmm. make everybody act right. like they hate him. Right? Sure. But right. it's just, uh, it's just, this is extra padding, I yeah, suppose, yeah. right? Yeah. Yeah, so you're, you're going to have, uh, you know, you're going to, you're going to have, uh, someone who can do what your buddy here does, right? And, uh, they'll look just like him. Be on a boat. You'll be on a boat. It'll be a boat. Got it. On a boat. Yeah. No Afghan, though. We don't wear Afghans on this boat. <laughs> Good, awesome, excellent. No, not... no, f- no fucking Poseidon. Uh, yeah, no, no, no dolphins doing flips and shit. Yeah, yeah got it. Especially not Afghans made out of pashmina. Not a thing. Sure. We don't do it. Right. Yeah. No, yeah, them's the rules. That's the rules on my boat, mate. And, and now my eyes are just going left and right, like what the fuck just happened? <laughs> 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 what the hell is this conversation? <laughs> <laughs> Fashion week. 
Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just looking at the old, the old porn. <laughs> thieves can't can within thieves can. can. It's fine. Yeah. Uh, all thieves right. Well, I'm down. Let's uh, let's do whatever prep work we got to do and make this happen. All right. Back into thieves guild work I go. Ugh. Well, you, you guys are actually gonna go and take him. I'm taking the fake. Yeah. Are you Are you asking this in game? Yeah. Well, right. Because he still has to show up. There. Well, yeah. You're taking he him. Doesn't to the, have to stay. You're taking him to the king, right? Yeah. Yeah. So you take him in, cuffs and all. Take him to the king. King gives you money. Bob's your uncle. The real one. Yeah. Okay. That's the word. Yeah. What? This guy's real British. He fucking bobbed your uncle. <laughs> Holy shit. Why? <laughs> you put him in the boot. Oh, yeah, you naba. God save the king and all that. Yeah. <laughs> Mind the gap. Oh, the queen died in this world, too? Okay, got it. <laughs> <laughs> right, proper fucked. Right? <clears throat> proper fucked, then. <laughs> yeah, sorry, I I'd recently watched Snatch and I watched Great movie. <laughs> and I there it is. Movie. There it is. <laughs> I watched I watched Snatch and I watched the new Thor movie. So so I have like Jason Statham and the guy that plays Bullet to Tony and Taika Watiti all in my mm. head at once trying to come out as one accent and it's it's not working well. It's good. It just, it's it, in between. You, you, you're throwing some Irish in there. Yeah. At the yeah. 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 It just fades in and out between the, the three different references. So yeah. Yeah. It's all right. It's an L. I'm, I'm buying it. Yeah. Going going from British to Kiwi and back like like, yeah. like that's that's where that Irish is coming in, right? <laughs> yeah. Going into Korg a little bit there. Yeah. <laughs> and then you've it. got that. Then you've got that Texas draw that keeps trying to like kick the fucking door down. At, yeah, every single vowel. Yeah, and it doesn't help that I've been congested all week. So. <laughs> yeah. So then yeah. you're getting all nasally with it too. Yeah, like trying to overcompensate for being all nasally with it. Yeah. Yeah. So anyway, so yeah, that's uh, that's Loke. That's Loke the elf. So you guys have have a plan and some marching orders. Yeah, I think we have essentially got to figure it out. We just got to work out the whole getting the crowd to buy the bullshit. Yeah. Or at least let the crowd in the town let us leave with them, see it happening, and be convinced that it's actually... It's, it's like this whole ruse to pull off, to get him out of the town, get the crowd to react to it, get the crowd to spread the lie that he's being forcibly removed. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Shmi, the, the ship is the Dishonorable Strumpet. <laughs> what a name! <laughs> I love that! <laughs> the Dishonorable Strumpet. Perfect. That's a... That's a... That's a hooker. Right? That's what strumpet means, Man, right? It has to be. Yeah. Yeah. I, I think that's a yeah. I, I was like, like I know that's that's like a like a slang, but I don't rem like I don't know what the. It's definitely not recent slang. It's so yeah. It's yeah. So it's archaic for a female prostitute. The current oh, is yeah. is a woman who has many casual sexual encounters or relationships. So a slut. It, so 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 it, it's it, it currently is used as a term for slut. It used yes. to be a term for a prostitute. Yes. Got it. Okay. Yes. One guy. So paid. so you'll be selling the BSS <laughs> slut. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it wouldn't yeah. be the first time I've rode a slut for a while, so that works. <laughs> oh, man. It's right. the first there time in how long? Is. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> ah, about the same time as uh, since I've been a pirate, I guess, so, you know. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, you guys. You guys. We need to get you out of the house more. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I've been stuck with you guys in a tower. What do you mean? <laughs> <laughs> for, for negative 15 years. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. A long time. The other way. 
Yeah. And now we figured out this ruse to keep growing the mystique of this dude. Alright. So, you end out your night. Um, <coughs> the next morning, you have all your stuff packed up. Uh, Toodles has everything packed that he needs. Uh, he hugs me in a very Big hug. weird Big hug. characteristic way. Sure. Um, With a little light humping. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, it held on a oh, little yeah, too long. Yeah. Sure. It's uncomfortable. Yeah. And there's yeah. like this grinding that's going on <laughs> that shouldn't be going on but continues sure. to go on. Yeah. I'm just, yeah. I'm While just, you're I'm having the conversation and just kind of ignoring it. <laughs> like, I'm just going to assume Toodles is just going to finish. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that, right. That's kind of Toodles' track record. Right. That's a... he, whispers, he whispers in your ear, my mind's telling me no. But my body, <laughs> my body's telling me yes. Fantastic. Yeah, a little bit of bump and grind there. Yeah, um, I got that. Uh, anyways, yeah. So, um, you guys prep everything. The the cart is prepped. Um, you're you're given notice that everything's set for the evening. And y'all meet up with... Weaving on a hooker. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> so you guys, you guys set up. Y'all... Sorry, I could not resist. No, you're good. Y'all have your long rest and all that. And, uh... You make it to your respective places. Um, the person looks... On the ship looks just like the general the the ship is fitted um, you start to notice that everyone on there is actually part of the guild but they all look official like like it looks like a prisoner transport ship right like their uniforms and everything are like top notch <clears throat> um, the the town members of the town as y'all are walking around and getting him ready like there are people at the docks that are like throwing tomatoes and shit um oh no wait wait what was the ruse the ruse was that they're happy to see him go right yeah kind of like like they were like celebrating that he's been caught and he'll pay for his yeah, crime okay. and he'll serve time and justice is finally done yeah so so kinda they are so people are throwing tomatoes on both sides, right, at the docks and, and the, where the cart is. And, you know, they're, they're angry and they're happy. They're cheering that he's being taken. They're, they're pissed off about the possibility of an invendi- of a impending invasion by him not going. And there are some dissenters in the crowd that are like, oh, you know, he saved everyone's lives. And da-da-da-da-da. Like, there's a huge hubbub. And you guys set out on your journeys. <clears throat> so, you make it. Uh, so I'm playing this for time now because we got about 30 minutes left in the session. And I want this to, to end on a solid end. Um, so you make it to... Uh, you make it all the way to the capital, which is going to be... Uh, Sarami. And if that wasn't the capital, it is now, so I don't know what I said previously. Uh, <laughs> okay. I remember. Hey, man, it's, we're 15 years in the past. Who knows what the fuck happened then? Right, right. Yeah. All I, mean, I this know is I got pre pandemic got, at this point. Who the fuck? Yeah, right. oh. yeah. I've got 15 years to read a book. That's the only thing I know. That's the only <laughs> thing I've been <laughs> I'll have the rest of you. Right, right, right. Uh, how do I... No, that's not what I want. Alright, so there's that tag. That's not what I wanted. Also not what I wanted. It's a bird. But anyways, um... Yeah, so, Sarami, y'all... Y'all make it up into here. And, uh... Yeah, there we go. 
that's not and as as reasonable. as we make it there, I want to begin the tale of Shmi Nugget Crusher and how valiantly he fought to obtain the sin. And that it's 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 sad to have lo- to have lost him. Yeah. But there's 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 a hope that his soul carries on in the waves of the ocean and in the winds of the sea. Yeah, absolutely. Because it's your boy! <laughs> it's, it's your, your boy! boy. <laughs> the ship may at some point change its name to It's Your Boy. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, so y'all, y'all make it to your destinations relatively unmolested. Um, Damn. I know. Uh, and that is where... So y'all, y'all make it in and y'all... You'll stand before the king, and you take uh, the general, and he's cuffed. He's got the the ankle or the the manacles, and everyone's like shocked, right? Like everyone at court, like these stuffy people are like. <sighs> A couple of women faint. The king's like, <laughs> "What? What? What is this?" What have you brought? And I'm just like striding out in front of everyone. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Like all cocky. Yeah, so you, I mean, the king looks, he looks at y'all, he's like, What have you brought me? You don't recognize the general? Oh, fuck, I gotta pay you. Ah, uh, I believe that's the deal, right? <laughs> <laughs> He, he motions for one of his advisors. The advisor comes over. He's like, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yep. He looks at him. He's like, How did you manage to get yourself captured? And he just looks up and he smiles, and the general just shrugs with a big shitty grin on his face. He's like, Maybe now we won't be invaded. King's like, yeah, yeah, so now I've got to get transport. And I got to pay these people. I'm going to roll insight on this whole situation to yeah. see how much bullshit's being spewed. Yeah, go for it. <laughs> okay, yeah, I, yeah, sure, this, this seems normal. Yeah. yeah seems normal. This, this, <laughs> yeah. He's like, all right, now I'm. Guards, take... Nah, hold it, hang on. Uh, banker, come. And this... This, uh... Kind of wiry gentleman comes over. He's like, yes, sir. So he goes, and about... It takes him about 15 minutes, and he comes back with a large wooden chest. And the king's like, all right. Do you, gentlemen, accept this payment for the the prisoner? Uh, can I count it first? I I don't have that kind of time. Can you count that high? Oh. <laughs> Oh man! <laughs> and, and being the what shade? You're the smartest one out of all of us, like <laughs> right? So I, I, I should, yeah, I should have a good amount to it. Damn it! All right, <laughs> fuck all of y'all. Damn. Uh, in the rule of cool, I want to be able to to construct a scale tool for the right job yeah right so i make a one uh, one seven thousandth one to one seven thousandth 
model scale and put one piece of gold on one side and the and the chest on the other. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, so you're gonna take an hour to do this? Sure. Alright. Yeah, okay. You you measure it and the chest is heavier. Well, I would imagine the chest is heavier, but is it heavier oh. to the exact amount of one to seven thousand ratio? Minus the I weight of the chest, of is course. Is it seven thousand gold? It's more. Fair enough. Yeah. Okay. All right. Yeah, I think this will work for me. King's like, that was clever. <laughs> I. He's like, hey, you court people, did you see this? We need more gnomes. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe you could learn something from him. <laughs> well, I just taught you that lesson for free, didn't I? That's innovative. <laughs> learn from that. Consider the extra payment for the lesson. <laughs> Fair enough with me. Guards, and the guards come over and they gingerly <laughs> help Kasun. I love up. Thadia. Oh, did you? Am I still here? Yeah, I hear uh, you. I can hear you. Meredith, we can hear you. Can you hear us? Bippity boppity boop. Hello? I see the little boom. silhouette of a man. <laughs> Scaramouche. Copyright. <laughs> 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 Him. I think we lost him. I think we did too. I hear him. Yeah. Something must be up with his um William? Headphones. Uh how about now? No. There yeah. There we go. Can you hear us? Can you hear us? Dick 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 yeah. dick dick. <laughs> That's one way to check. <laughs> Alright, so, um, he says, uh, so the guards come over and they very gingerly help Kasun up, and they walk him off to what you can presume to be the royal dungeon. The king says, alright, is that it? I believe so. Well, I'll look at Toodles and I'll look at Callus and see if they have any objections to uh, going ahead and leaving. Well, you four seem very capable. I may. Three. Four. I see a goat man. Two gnomes. One gnome. I'm not here. Oh, I thought you were with him. Did you not? No, wasn't I on the... I'm, I'm, no. Am I not on the boat? Oh, yeah, I was saying that you all walked in. Like, I was saying you all walked in together. Oh, okay. Yeah. I see. Yeah. Sorry, yeah. I was saying that, that you all got to your destinations. The diversion worked. I see. So but... we, we reconvened at the main yeah. spot. So I you see. Okay, gotcha. Yeah. And, oh, uh, okay, okay. Yeah. yeah, I was like... I was like, where the hell is... He's resurrected! Right? He's projecting. Yeah. Right. So the four of you are obviously very capable. Um, I may have more work for you in a day or so, if you're interested. I could always use agents in the field. If you're interested, you may decide to just take your gold and buy a tower. I've had enough towers. Yeah, same. <laughs> I, uh, I, I wish I could take you up on that offer, uh, my liege, but, uh, I, I, I am needed elsewhere. But, uh, these three are very, very capable. Alright, then. Well, the offer stands. He's like, he's like, uh, courier person, not courier, go away. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> you very very kingly that is, uh, yeah, that is call, right yeah, calls the wrong guy to the and then gets mad at the, at the guy that he called yeah. <laughs> he, vo 
He points at someone else like you. Come here. They, they yeah, come I'm over. starting to think this thing is an incompetent boob. And he, well, I mean, <laughs> he writes. He writes out. Um, he grabs a quill and he's got some paper. And he starts writing. And he rolls it up, and then uh, he pulls out a a little thing of of wax and he dips his ring into it and then he seals the roll of parchment and he's like uh not the one that's leaving but whichever one of you three wants to take this here you are it's a writ it, should you decide in the future that you want to come back and look for work this will grant you an audience with me I'm gonna snatch it out of his hand it's like I'll take that no problem thanks cool Mr. Weighty Man. <laughs> Alright. Y'all are dismissed. I have ale to drink. <laughs> it must be nice to be king, huh? It's good to be yeah. king. It's good to well, well, you gotta think about it. Like, we marched in here, did this, and I'm pretty sure he was under the, like, assumption that, ah, oh, this will take, like, 15 minutes. An hour and a half later. I mean, you can assume that he was under the assumption that no one would ever capture this guy. Right. Yeah. Yeah. And now he's like, well, shit, I gotta own up. Fuck. Uh -huh. Pay up, bitch. Yeah. <clears throat> All right, gentlemen, have a wonderful time in our fair city. Please try not to end up in a prison. That writ will not get you out of prison, it will just grant you an audience. Understood. We will okay. uh, we'll do our best. Losers whine about their best. Anyways, um, yes. So, was that Sean Connery just now? That that was. The... <laughs> was that, did I hear Sean Connery from The Rock underneath? Like I, that wasn't in my subconscious. I heard that. No, no, I heard that. <laughs> okay. I, I I was making mental note of that sassy fucking monarch. <laughs> well, I, I was gonna go home and fuck my mom. Quick, so. <laughs> <laughs> A rock reference. Yeah. Wow. Nice. You're best. You're best. Losers always whine about their best. That's winners, pretty good, man. Winners go home and fuck the prom. We need to have a character. We need to have a character with a Sean Connery voice. Oh, that's God. that's good. That's that, good. The only way that I can get in, like, the easiest way for me to get into a Sean Connery is I have to remember the very, very end of Last Crusade. I've lost him. That's... I've lost yeah, him. Yeah. You're bashed. You're bashed. Losers always whine about the bashed. Winners go home and fuck the prom queen. Clara was the prom queen. <laughs> Man, I had ten minutes since seen that terrible fucking movie. Oh, that was a great movie. Michael Bay no, before it's No, it's a terrible Michael anyway, Michael. I, we, can, we can argue about this later. Yeah, we can argue. Anyways. Alright. So I think I think gentlemen, this is this is a good spot to wrap it up. So the surprise that I promised at the beginning of the stream is that this is Shmi's last foray into our world. For now. He may come back. For now. He may not. It all depends. But uh, you know, if there's if there's a if there's an episode here and there where it makes sense for Shmi to pop back up, you let me know and if I can make it happen, I'll make it happen. Absolutely. So. I, I I'm I'm was like looking at this as like you know, the 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 dread pirate nugget pressure. Yeah. So, okay. Yeah. Yeah. So as a rule, if That's it, why I was surprised when you said it was four. I was like, wait. Yeah. So if a player is not here, I will not kill their character. If a player needs to leave for any reason, I work very hard to not kill their character either, right? As as I was telling Shmi in, in messages, I I refuse to kill to just kill a character, right? You have to sure. do something that is so stupid and was completely one hundred percent avoidable or sacrifice yourself in some crazy heroic way. For, for me to just flat out kill you, right? Yep. So we we decided on Shmi parting and becoming his own grandpa of a sorts. Heck yeah. Oh, this is going to be weird. Sad to see you go. <laughs> so, 
So Shmi, it has been wonderful here with you. You, of course, get experience for tonight, so everybody's going to get 750 XP. Everybody who's here gets 750 XP. Lovely. You guys did a great job role-playing tonight. I really loved tonight's session. It was a lot of fun. We had a lot of laughs. We had a lot of story. Um, we had some ups and downs. So <clears throat> that is the tale of the first time General Kasumi was captured. <laughs> Love it. Love it. Had to go back in time to catch this bastard. <laughs> I like it. And we we kind of caught him <laughs> with with his with his support. <laughs> I mean that was the rumor, yeah. right? It it had been rumored that he had always supported yep. it. That's yeah, that's that's really kind of that's cool how you tied that all the way the fuck back in. Oh yeah, yeah. No, this was very very uh, cleverly done. Yeah. All right, guys. Um, let's run through our promotions. Let's start with Turtle Pig. What do you got to promote, sir? Yeah, you can find me um, on Twitch, on YouTube, on Patreon, on TikTok, on Twitter, on Instagram. Uh, just look up Turtle Pig Productions and you will find me there. I do a lot of art, I do tabletop games, um, and I do uh, videos on YouTube as well. So definitely check all that shit out. Uh, but yeah, uh, both players and DM, uh, you guys were super fun and lovely to play. Uh, tonight's session especially was super cool. I think there was a lot of fun role-playing elements that we got to do today, so that was a lot of fun. So I appreciate you guys. That was. It was yeah, fun. I, I, was, I was hoping you got enough time in, because this being your last time for at least a little while, hopefully, fingers crossed. And, you know, you get everything taken care of, what you got to do. I wanted you to have as much time as possible to develop and your character sure no absolutely and i think uh, i think we definitely definitely did that so that was a lot of fun shmi will be missed uh, mike what you got to promote uh yeah you can find me at uh bd stainless 316 on tiktok uh, i have posted a couple of uh, little videos recently and they haven't been taken down yet. so that's it that's, that's on that but yeah uh, I'm also like doing. I'm, I'm taking those and I'm posting them on Instagram. I'm posting them on YouTube. Uh, uh, yeah, so find me all around there, and I'll be making more videos uh, coming shortly. And getting the toy, and the toy business is officially back up and running. Uh, if you want to find my Etsy site, uh, yeah, just go through either my TikTok. My link is there. It's on Instagram. It's on YouTube. It's everywhere. Hell yeah! So yeah, Etsy site is is up and going. I am making toys again. Yeah. Fuck yes. Nice. Nice. Uh, William, you got anything to promote? Um, no. Tonight, uh, I'm just going to take a blank slate and let you guys have uh, all the attention you need. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. I will promote myself. Um, yeah, Rogue Maverick, the Rogue's Gallery. You can find us on YouTube. You can find us here on Twitch. You can find me on Twitter. I'm not super active, but if you, you act, I will... Uh, I'll respond at some point. Um, <clears throat> uh, yeah, I mean, that's that's pretty much it. You can find me at various places. Um, hanging out in all different chat rooms with, uh, with Turtle Pig on Twitch or, or another friend of the channel, Zelestia, hanging out in her Twitch channel on occasion. She plays Skyrim. Um, but yeah, guys, uh, you can catch us here every other Wednesday. Uh, we may backfill Shmi. We may add somebody. We may not. We may see how three work. Uh, upcoming, we we have some new games coming to the stream here soon, hopefully. Uh, Mistborn, and we're looking at either a Hunter V5 or a Werewolf V5, if that book ever comes out. So, stay tuned. Check us out. Like and subscribe, all of that. And uh, we will catch you next time. Thanks, everybody. Ciao.